hello, hello, hello. I am early today. <laughs> Ooh, am I cre- Why does it glitch on my face like right here? What? What is that? What the? Do I need a new camera? Okay, well, hmm, that's fun. That's a fun way to start the day. Let me switch to the switch setup. That's not so noticeable. Oh, I gotta switch this out. I saw someone tip me a dollar in whatever currency that is. Thank you, Felix. Let me, let me switch this over. So how was your guys' week so far? Mine has been strictly playing Portia the whole week. <laughs> like, actually, though. Like, actually, actually. Just straight up, I've been playing Portia all week. Except for yesterday, actually. That's not true. Yesterday, I spent some time working on my emotes. Because I'm going to have those. I'm going to have them soon. Also, hello to everyone who, and thank you guys for waiting for me. I really appreciate that. I like having um, it so I can have like my um, my loading screen up. So then there's not like that little awkward period where I'm like posting on Twitter and stuff while I'm waiting for people to get here. Now we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Anyway, um, it's been a rough week. I'm sorry. Hopefully, as we get further into the new year, it will improve. Um, but yeah, so I've just been playing Portia. I am like a month into the game now. <laughs> I uh, made a lot of progress. My house, my workbench, and... Oh, Pupples, do you wanna come in over here, baby? Do you wanna come in with Mama? with mama she's like laying on a pile of laundry over in the corner come on popos here i don't have any other things to give you right now so i will give you this come here come here you can go come on come on you can get past them you can you can help you can get past them come on baby oh thank you felix here i'll give you a bless up in a sec i just got um oh you want this one okay I was gonna give you the bigger one, but all right, me can have it. This is a good baby. <laughs> this is a good baby girl. You is a good baby girl. They got a bath yesterday, so they were very soft and clean right now. Yes, yes, you did. Oh, Popos. Oh, Popos. Is that comfortable, silly baby? Is it? You're gonna bonk your head. I can tell it. You're gonna bonk your head. You're gonna do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Felix. Here's a bless up for your two, your two dollars. Um, I do love, I love Zelda. I love it so much. I want to play. Okay, you know, okay, so as much as I want to play the new one, I can't, what's it called? Fuck, I remember, is it Breath of the Wild? That's the new one, right? Um, as much as I desperately do want to play that one, and it looks really fun. Um, I really wish that Link Between Worlds came on the Switch. I might take these off because they're kind of giving me a headache. Um, but I wish that it came on the Switch because Link Between Worlds is probably my favorite Zelda. Probably. Or Majora's Mask. Or Wind Waker. Fuck. Though, one of those three are my favorites. So, I wish that they would have them on the Switch, because, like, that would be great, and I would love that. Nintendo, not that you're listening to me or give a shit what I say. <laughs> the new one, oh, Hyrule Warriors. No, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the, like, actual, I mean, like, I know that, that, that. 
but that's not what I'm, <laughs> that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the 3D, like really pretty one that everyone has been talking about. Are my hello? Why are my controllers not working? Okay, I'm gonna just close it. And as you can see, I downloaded more games, but I still I'm waiting for my um, SD card. So we're just gonna start that again because it was being weird. Um, the thing is, I have noticed compared to the PC version, because usually I play Portia on the PC, um, as much as I, I really like the control on the Switch, it's fun to play, um, however, however, I've noticed it's a lot more glitchy than the PC version. So if you're going to play Portia and you're wanting to play it on the Switch and you're coming from the PC version, just keep in mind it's a little glitchy and there's like some tricks that you can do on the PC that you really cannot do on the Switch. Like, there's a few spots where you can like no clip to different parts of the map in the PC version. And like, I know that that's probably like intentionally they fixed it or whatever, but like, I enjoy no clipping through to different areas I'm not supposed to be, okay? So just let me do it. Just let me do it. Just let me do it. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. Inventory control is a little bit more annoying on the Switch. And otherwise... Oh, this is one glitch I noticed that is literally there every time. It's super funny. So all of the baby cows, all the baby cows are face down. They're not like walking like normal. They're like sideways. And by sideways, I mean like they're half in the ground, like face down. It's so funny. Like it's, <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my God. It's, um. I'll show you. I'll, I'll run over there and show you guys because it's like, I can't, I don't know how to fix it, but it's like, okay, that's fine. It's, um, yeah, it's fine. I have a gamer PC. This is just not it. I'm not using the gamer PC in here. My other PC is better. Don't ask me what the specs are. I do not know. It's just better. I recently upgraded the graphics card and I'm gonna upgrade the RAM soon too. So it's uh, super smooth and I can run sim. Anyway, so yeah, look at my house. Look at my outfit. We have made progress, boys. Look at, look at this. I, I decorated, um, I've got some wallpaper in here. We've upgraded to level two. Now come check out, come check out my epic yard. Um, I need to build more equipment for crafting, but at least we have room to do it now. I've just been trying to progress in like the other things, so I haven't put a lot of time into building myself new equipment, but yeah, look how big my yard is. It's giant also. Can you get out of here? <sighs> These fucking trees keep growing in my yard. Anyway, yeah, so, oh, hello. We're level 27 now, also. So this is the outside. Oh, thank you! Wait, we have to do blanket fort. Hold up, hold up. Blanket fort time. Thank you, Maria, wow! <laughs> blanket fort right off the bat. Hell yeah. Um. <laughs> but shit, what was I saying? Fuck, I got distracted by the epic blanket fort proposal. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> shit, let me copy. <sighs> eh. Oh, shit, fuck. I copied the wrong thing. I'm a dumbass. Um, what I was gonna say is, yeah, my house is epic now, guys. Basically, is what I was trying to say. Okay, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> angle you guys up so you can see the process okay hello puppies you're gonna have to assist me here okay how did we do this last time we used ah. ha, 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 ha. here's the tape 
that we um, that kind of worked last time. I wonder if we'll have. I'm, I'll try to have a better a better um, way of doing that. Soul took my spot. <laughs> eh. Okay. Oh, these are pillowcases. <laughs> eh. Okay. The main the main blanket. Um, alright, so we did, we hooked it onto, eh, sorry bubbles, sorry bubbles, you're trapped, trapped bubbles. Okay, so we hooked it onto the door. Oh no, Soli, are you trapped? Are you stuck? Are you stuck under the blanket? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I trapped you, baby. <gasps> okay. We got we got this side up. Okay. And then and then we gotta go over to this side. Oh, excuse me, little tiny puppers. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're in the way. Ex oh. Oh, excuse me, bubbles. Okay, and then we've got this side over here. And then we just gotta do the final, wait, where did I put the tape? Fuck. Where did I go, Bubbles? Where did mommy put it? Did I put it on the bed? Oh no, lost the tape. That was the most important part last time. Oh well, let me, let me go grab some. I think I put it away. Tape acquired. I lost the puppies though. As soon as they saw the fort being built, they were like, I'm out. Fuck this. I don't know what you're doing here, but we're not into it. Oh well. They'll be back. They'll be back once it's done being built. Okay, here we go. Eh. Okay. Okay, tape side is up. I'm gonna adjust that. Okay. Whee! Alright, we got that part. We got that part done. Okay. Now. Eh, oop, shit, fuck. Shit, fuck. Now for the back one. <laughs> One side and the other side. Ha! Ha ha ha! Blanket fort! I deed it. I deed it. Mm. Oh, I gotta adjust the camera back now. Yay! <laughs> I love the blanket fort so much. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Anyway, we lost the pups, but that's okay. They'll be back, I'm sure, as soon as I open up one of my snacks. Do you guys like this? Do you like it? <laughs> this is my other snack. Help! Anyway, um, so this is my epic house. It's level two now. My epic yard. Um, my epic workstation. I'm working on building a watering system for the tree farm right now. I have a lot of uh, chests. This is my workbench. Um, yeah, and this is all of my other stuff. So let's let's gather this shit up and then let's see what the fuck we're supposed to be doing because I actually kind of forgot what I'm doing right now. I feel like that's how it goes with this game every time. I open it, I'm like, fuck, what am I doing right now? <laughs> oh, I got a lot of stuff completed, though. Um, let's see, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Well, I should upgrade my character. As you can see, I've put all of my... <laughs> all of my 
my points towards gathering. Um, what's over here? What are these new ones I unlocked? Okay, can sell item for 2% more. That's good. When sparring, 20% chance to increase. Nah. Get a one extra relationship point when fulfilling a wish. Nah. What's this one? Um, two points by giving a gift. Uh, no. What are these ones? Get extra crops. Reduces the amount of materials needed. Yes, that one. That's the best one. And that's the one I keep trying to get. But now it's like every time I try to craft something, it gives me like weird. Here, I'll show you. It's like I need 2.6 hardwood or 6.8. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Like, is it just gonna say I need half a one or something? And then it doesn't have half, so what's the point of that? I'm not gonna play Fortnite. I do not like Fortnite. Anyway, let me, um, oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Eh. Uh, I need to get rid of stuff that is I'm holding. I don't need. Ah, oops, no, yes, okay, that. <laughs> um, wait, I need the steel plates. JK, I need those for the, what I'm crafting right now. Um, wood, yes, put that away. Okay. Um, let's see, what do I need in my crafting thingy? Okay, so I'm making a water engine. Oh, I need four steel plates. Okay, let's make more steel plates then. Steel plates. Boom. And we're just slowly making steel plates right now, I guess. Um, okay, let's check our mail. Our daily mail. Did we get anything? Research results. Oh, industrial furnace. Ugh. Bitch, I need the blender. I need the blender. I need the blender recipe or any of the cooking recipes. I don't have them. And um, I have a quest I'll show you. I've got a mission I must accomplish. I need to deliver these fruit tarts, but I can't make them yet because I don't have anything to make them with. And I only have three days, so I'm gonna fail it. It's the first task I'm gonna fail. Ow, fail. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Rip. Anyway, my other tasks are I need to make dog food, which I also need the blender for. So I need the blender to make dog food to find scraps. Um, and then I'm saving the tree farm. So I'm making a water wheel and a water engine. And then when I have them, I'm going to place them. But um, here, I'll show you everything else I have done so far. So I created a lift to get to a new zone. Um, I created, I dealt with the pan bat invest infestation in the tree farm. Um, I put street lights like all over the town. Um, I delivered medicine for everyone because the town has currently uh, got poisoned sewage water, which we need to go solve that problem. Um, helped Phyllis with a recipe. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, someone tried to evict me from Portia which was bullshit because they were pretending to be like debt collectors, but they weren't actual debt collectors. They were trying to scam me. So I called them out and told Arlo and then I beat their ass twice. So they're gone. We don't have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> um, we opened the haunted cave and I also like cleared it out and got the rat king because he was stealing stuff from people around town so I returned all their stuff um I created a bunch of DD stops and DD uh vehicles so then um we have like transportation around town and it's a lot easier to get places um I made Django a sword I made um yeah DD evicted Dee Dee. I made a water tank for Sophie for the farm. More Dee Dee transport stuff. More Dee Dee stuff. Hazardous Ruins, that's where I saved the town from the Rat King. Um, other just stuff, whatever. Dee Dee. I helped Emily with her chickens because she's always losing her fucking chickens. 
the cave. I emptied um, the debt collectors. Yes, I helped someone get colorblind in this glasses. So now we have a barber again. Um, I helped Emily with her planter boxes. Um, and I also finished the bridge. So yeah, everything else is just kind of like whatever. Um, shoot, is there anything else? I need to show you guys. Oh, here's all of our new recipes that we've got. So this is everything we have so far. Um, we've got, oh, we have the grill now. Fuck, I need to make that. I need to make the grill. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm stupid. I have had that for a while and I just didn't notice. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> we got an industrial cutter now. Um, we got the water engine water storage, water wheel, industrial furnace, which we also need to make. For fuck's sake. That water wheel, yikes. 50 hardwood, okay. Yikes, 12 iron bucket, oh my God. Okay, that's gonna be, oh fuck. Oh wait, I was gonna check um, what the prices today were to see if we could sell our fish. Oh no, the market price is at 77%. But that means we could buy stuff. Let's buy some stuff. Whenever the market price is down, you want to buy stuff. Um, like I always try to get roses or get some other stuff to give to people to make them be my friend. <laughs> um, what's here? We can get some of these. That'll work. Those are good. What's over here? Let's go. Mm. Oh, what's this? Triple barrel snake bite. All right, sure. All right, we got a new recipe. Oh, I already have that? Fuck! <laughs> no, I'm stupid. Okay, whatever, I'll sell that when the market price is back up then. <laughs> Rip. Okay, let me go show you guys the cows because they're really funny. And, um, yeah. And then we can go on an adventure because we need to go figure out why the water is doing this. Why is it green? That is unfortunate. Um, there's a DD stop that I made. And the cows are over this way. Hey, let me jump. And they're over here. Oh, hello, what is this? Nanny? Why is there... Why is there a random... Watermelon? Just right... Okay. <laughs> Alright, why? Sometimes this game... Alright, where... See, look at this. Look at these cows right now. Look at that. Look at that shit. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you, what is, what is that? What? Ah, fuck. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck and how have they not fixed this at all? Oh my God. <sighs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave it there for a second while I load this. Cause that shit is so funny. Like, wait, I need to follow them. What are you doing? Like, why are you in the floor? For what reason is this happening? And why is it not been fixed? And who should I thank for the laugh? Like, <laughs> Oh my god. They are. Like, bro, I don't... It's so funny, because, like, there's not... It's not super glitchy. Like, sometimes it'll take a little bit to load stuff, like menus or whatever, if I've got, like, a lot of items or whatever. Which, yeah, kind of... Whatever, it's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um, however, like... <laughs> this is, um... Oh. I accidentally ran. Hello. Where is another baby cow? Ah. Baby cow. And poo. 
But like, bitch, why the fuck? I, how is it even, like, in the game? I Like, it's so bizarre to me, like, how this is happening. And it's not like, like, I've exited and restarted my game a lot, too, so it's not like... It's not like it's on my end. It's definitely, definitely something they accidentally programmed in or something. And um, it's hilarious. Wait, where did it go? It left. Oh no. Where'd it go? Ah. All the baby cows. <laughs> I just like, bro, I can't. It's super funny. Um, the other glitch I've noticed is sometimes when I'm trying to destroy certain creatures that live by the water, sometimes, um, when they spawn new ones, because after you kill all of the ones that are spawned, they'll spawn, like, a second group, normally, um, so you can, like, keep killing them, and then eventually, like, the boss version of that species will show up, but... <laughs> I've noticed a few times when I've do when I've done that with like water ones, um, they'll spawn in the water, and they get stuck there, and then they can't they can't come up to the surface at all, and like you can't go in the water, but I did kind of no clip into the water at one point when I was trying to get one, so yeah, we're gonna have some fun glitches during this game. I'm excited. <laughs> What do you need? Fucking Higgins. Okay. Sure. I have to fix the stable? Is this the stable? What do I need? What do I need? What do I need to fix the stable? Oh, five hardwood planks and three iron bars? Got it. I think I already have those. I think. I think. We'll find out. My day has been good so far. Um, I woke up kinda late, but that's okay. It's like my week off and I'm very much enjoying it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so hardwood planks, got it. Iron bars, got it. <laughs> That's what happens when you're epic and plan ahead. <laughs> JK, that's what happens when you just obsessively have everything running all the time. That's the, that is my hint for this game is always keep all of your crafting materials running at all points. Never let it go. Oh wait, you're not who I need to talk to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> need to go over here. There you go, bitch. Boom, easy. Thank you. Oh, 600 goals. <gasps> wait, you gave me two calves? <gasps> Thank you, I don't have any place to put them, but thank you for giving me two glitched out little cows. <laughs> I wonder if the calves I get will be glitched out too, or if it's just the ones over in the farm. That's a good question. Anyway, um, let us, we need to go, um, happening over here registration oh no fuck that okay we need to go over here okay um so we're gonna go into the hold on how much food do i have i could use more 
Let's see. Are you guys selling anything good over here? Mm. I guess this isn't the worst thing. I'll have some of that. Thank you. All right. Well, hopefully I'm an epic gamer and we don't die. <laughs> um... Although when you die, you pretty much just get respawned in the same spot, though. So I think you have to die like multiple times or something, which has not happened to me. So I don't know what happens when you really die. <laughs> but yeah, so I finally opened up this new zone and we gotta go figure out why the sewage is all yucky. And, um, yeah. Eh, get out of my way, bitches. Move. Oh, fuck. Nya, 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 nya. It is the same stamina circle. Well, technically, this isn't the stamina circle. Technically, it's an endurance circle. Stamina is a different bar, but... No, fuck. I missed it. I keep glitching through this platform too, so hopefully it doesn't. Yes, okay. There we go. Okay, new zone. <laughs> Let's chop this tree trunk down that I forgot to finish the other day. Oh, is it gonna glitch out and stay there? That's fun. I've noticed that if um, I chop a tree down and I leave the trunk there, normally if I do that, or sorry, if I if I cut the tree trunk down immediately, like I'll show you right now, then the tree trunk will disappear. However, if I cut it down and then I leave the tree trunk overnight, it. Uh, it stays even when I chop it down later and I don't know why this is the case but it is and it's just annoying eh. um okay so we gotta find the entrance to where all the sewage issues are and I don't know where it is so that's what we're hunting for right now where the hell I feel like it's over here somewhere. It just feels right. Like, can I go in one of the sewer tunnel thingies? Is there anything over here? Inside of here? No, I can't even go in there. Why is my nose so fucking itchy right now? <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, um, maybe it's on the other side? Where is this? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Mm. Okay, can I go in here? Oh, yes, I can! Ha! Look at that! Mm, I got in. Meh. I got in. I should switch to my sword. Okay. So I'm gonna assume I have to avoid that. This is definitely where all the sewage is coming from. What is in here? Is there anything in here that supposed to do anything with? Hello? Can I just, do I go in here? Is it in here? No? Bitch, what in the? Do I go in the hole? Oh, no, okay. I don't go in the hole, I guess. Oops! I knew I wasn't supposed to go in the hole. Am I supposed to go in this tube? Do I go up here? Oh, oops. 
Let me in. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay, right? It's like right this. It's this. It's this. Yeah, and let me in. Utterly confused. Am I supposed to go up like here? Bro. The ladder. Oh, wait, maybe I have to go up there? Maybe. Am I supposed to go up there? Straight up, cannot tell. See, I can't like climb the ladder. Bitch, what? I can't climb the ladders, no. If anything, I might be able to climb this ladder just because I can jump up it, but no, I don't think so. I'll have a better time jumping up this, see? <laughs> It's weird like that. Uh, what the heck? Wait. That's broken up there. No. Okay. Bro, what the fuck? Can I even exit anymore? No, I can't. Okay. I feel like there's gotta be something. What's this on the wall here? A shark. Yeah, it's one of the abandoned buildings. It's like an industrial plant or something, I'm pretty sure. I'm just like, why? Wait. Definitely where I'm supposed to be. Where is the thing that I need to interact with in here? Bitch, don't make me Google it. That feels like cheating. Bruh! We're playing my time at Portia and we're currently utterly confused. Okay, well, let's just, um exit and see if we have to do anything else first. Um, like, maybe there's something else around here I'm supposed to do first. Can't go down there. So it's not into that. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what even? Why? Well, huh. I'm so confused, honestly. Let's just explore this zone, I guess, since we can't go in there and do anything. What's this way? Haven't been this way yet. Uh, ooh, waterfalls. Pretty. Ooh. Fishing spot? Fishing spot. Hello. Fishing spot, where are you? Hello map, can you show me where the fishing spot is and not be like this? 
hey, can we not pretend like I don't have access to this zone, please? Because I do. Nah. Fuck. Am I not supposed to be over here yet or something? <laughs> Well, let's uh, cut some trees down then. I guess. Cuz. Mm. We need a pipe. That makes sense. Okay. Let me cut this tree down. Then we'll go do that. I think I should have some pipes. Running, 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 running. Oh, I can't go that far. Oh. Can I? Can I not go that? Oh, fuck you. Let me jump off the cliff. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Off to get a pipe. I really need to max up my endurance more so I can run further. Let's get one of these trees, too. Since we're here. <laughs> Grr. These trees are big. Okay, there we go. Now we're in the right way. Eh. I wish that I had a ditto or a dodo stop right here, but I don't yet. Soon, once we have a little bit more free time and we're not building other stuff, we'll build more of those, and then we can travel more places. Let's see. Eh. Eh. Load. There we go. We really need one over there because it's so far. <laughs> huh? This game is about lawyers. This game? This game has nothing to do with lawyers. I don't think there are lawyers anywhere in it. <laughs> or unless you mean a different game. <laughs> Okay, so I need a steel plate, welding rod, and a valve. Okay. Okay, so we need we need a few things. I don't know if I have all of those. Let's find out. I know that I have steel plate, um, but we need we need to kind of save some of them because we oops, fuel depleted. No. Because we gotta We gotta finish building the water thingy first, and then we can do that. Let's see. Well, I guess we could use more hardwood planks, cause now we're done with that. Um, steel plate, we can do another one. Oh, I don't have any more power stones, uh oh. Um, okay, so I have two steel plates. All right, so I guess we can unlock that zone later. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I need anything from that. Um, okay, so we just need the four steel plates. So we've got one more. Hmm. Okay, well, who needs my help? 
I see someone needing my help. On the map. Are they in here? Looks like yes. Gah, they're so needy. They're so needy. Um, oh, Arlo. Um, the word is that you've been getting kind of strong. I was wondering if you might like to take a little trip with me while we investigate something unusual. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you. Wait, where are we going? Arlo, where are we going? Arlo! Right now? I wasn't ready! Fuck! <laughs> uh, this is nothing like Breath of the Wild, honestly. Like, first of all, it's not Zelda. So. There's that. Okay, spread out and look around. Oh, right there. Um, right here. This. These, these, which way are they leading? Oh, hello. Llama hair. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. Okay, let's go tell Arlo that we found llama hair. Which is odd. And tracks. Llama hair and tracks. Um. Yes. Who would do such a thing as to kill a poor llama? Definitely not me. Definitely not me. <laughs> okay, towards the cliff. Okay, which way? Fuck you, Arlo. Which way are, which which cliff? There are multiple cliffs, Arlo. Multiple cliffs. Okay, that cliff got you. here? Wait, oh, fuck. Okay, I thought I was going the right way. God damn it. Okay, over here. This is not what I would think of when I think of the cliff, but sure, Arlo. Okay, well, I see tracks over here, so I'm guessing there is, aha, mucus pile. Someone was killing the bugs. Was this me? <laughs> Shards of ladybug shell. Oh no. It's big and hungry. I think there'd be more evidence sitting around if this was a normal fight between monsters. Yes. The tracks lead to the waterfall. Hey. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, to... This waterfall? This waterfall? Wait, which one? Bitch, which Oh my god, you need to be more specific about your landmarks, Arlo. Because, okay, so this waterfall. Okay, that's the one I was thinking of. Dear lord. Hi, Chuckles. Right here? Right here? But over here? Oh, there's a chest over there. Did you guys see that? Fuck. Hello, piranhas. 
Let me uh, switch over to my sword real quick. Yeah, thanks, Arlo. Thank you. Let me just... Fuck, I hate these guys. Don't worry, Arlo, I can do all of them. Oh, I'm just killing everything. Okay, wait, are they all gone? Did I get them all? <laughs> yeah, they're usually in the ruins. The tracks lead right up to the river, then disappear. Yeah, do we just wait? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I carried you, bitch. Ooh, are we friends? Hell yeah. Are we BFFs yet, Arlo? Let's find out. No, but me and Ginger are. Just kidding. <laughs> slowly getting closer i'm the best i'm best friends with her or at least the closest to being anything other than literally a stranger <sighs> true arlo does have infinite health Why is there a man baby crying in chat right now, guys? Doesn't he know this is a cozy gaming stream? And that acting like a little bitch boy doesn't get you anywhere besides embarrassed? Mm, let's see. Um, so we've got a lot of stamina left. I say we try to cut some rocks and trees down just to get resources well we still have time and then um and then yeah i think that'll be good for the rest of the day here not in real life day but you know what i mean <laughs> in game day oh i guess i can gather these two that or we could fish but i feel like fishing takes too much time I have to like run over to the fishing spot. Yeah. I like how I just one shot all of these. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Yes. Die trees. Eh, wait, let me get it. I can get all the big trees now too. So <laughs> We don't have to worry about that anymore. Look at this. Ooh, I got it. Jeez. <laughs> so much easier when you have the fucking iron ones. All I need is an iron sword now, and then we've got maxed weapons. Actually, I, I, don't, I don't know where you can buy it, but there's like a Nova sword you can buy somewhere. That's the best one. Yeah. Sir, who are you? This is the first time I've ever seen you in stream. Everyone else here is a regular, so, like, you're the odd one out crying about a stream that you just arrived at. Like, that's weird. That's weird and entitled. Shut up, game. Don't tell me to get some rest. I have more rocks to cut. I'm not done. I must use all of my stamina. <laughs> yeah. Try and get the bigger ones so I can get more for it. The big ones. We have until three o'clock <laughs> and then we're gonna pass out because of exhaustion. Yeah, let me get the big one. We have 30 minutes. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, but you know what? I can actually make a really fun exception for you because usually I don't actually ban people from chat, but since you decided to come in here and be an entitled little bitch boy, I'm gonna actually let Chuckles ban you. Congratulations. 
You annoyed me to the point of actually being banned. That's what happens when you're entitled. I just ban you. Because no one wants to see that shit. And no one wants to deal with that shit. Like, if all you're gonna come in here and do is give backhanded, like, little comments where you, like, clearly are deeply invested in what I'm doing right now while simultaneously acting like you're above it and it's just kind of pathetic and boring. No, I fell asleep. <laughs> hey, at least we got that tree. But, like, you know? So if anyone else got it in their head that they thought that was a fun little cute thing to do, don't. Because you're just going to get kicked out. It's obnoxious. Anyway. Let's go check on our crafting. Oh no. My qualification is going to expire. Fuck. Thank you, Chuckles. Like... If you're really, like, upset in chat that the streamer's not streaming the game that you want them to when they're clearly playing a different game, like, homie, go outside. Go outside. Okay, make more of these. Just constantly craft stuff with this so then when I do need it, I don't have to constantly be worried. I should probably do some more charcoal, actually, but that's fine. I can do that later. Mm. Actually, I can do some charcoal with this guy. Yeah. We'll do that. Refuel. Refuel. Collect. Collect. And craft another one. This will be the last one we need for this guy over here. Then we'll be done. Okay, how much time is on this? Two hours? Okay, we'll come back in two hours and finish that off. Let's sort out all of our materials. Um, okay, let's put the cows into farming, cause, yeah. Um, fabric, wood, this can go into wood. Those can go in there. And then... Oh wait, books. Oops, fuck, that's not a book. <laughs> that's not what I meant. Okay, cool. Emily. Oh, let's check our mail first. Civil Corps. Okay. Darling, we went and took a look at the source of pollution. The goo's coming from a broken pipe. Oh, we just had to wait a day. <laughs> Located in the tall building, we suspect there's foul play. Can we fix it? We need four steel, fuck, four steel welding plates again. Welding rods and two valves. Cool, yeah, done. Aw, oh, you're welcome. I can start my rental service up again. If you want to rent a ride, just come to my ranch and place a reservation for a week. Cool. Um, I actually enjoy owning a horse a little bit more than renting one, but that's okay. Oh, who needs my help? Who needs my help in this direction? Wait, wait, where are you, bitch? Who are you and is it you? What do you need help with? Bitch, no. Oh, fuck you. What do you need? Your fish stew? Cooking set? I'm... Sure, fine, whatever. Give me the recipe. I don't have a fucking cooking set, though. Grr. Has it been two hours? No. Fuck. <laughs> Let's go see if the commerce has any commissions. Actually, no, we shouldn't do that. We should just finish what we have right now. We have a lot on our plate. Oh dang it, price is still down. So we can't sell anything. But we can keep buying stuff, I guess. I will keep buying apricot juice. Okay, I'm not doing the martial arts tournament. I'm gonna keep buying flowers. Meh. Nice. 
nice. Uh... Oh, wait. Waifu, come here. Ginger. Ginger. Hi, Ginger. Let me give you a present. She loves roses, so I'm giving, I keep giving her roses. Yes, that's fine, that's fine. We can go on a date later. <laughs> um, any cool clothes? Ooh, there are new clothes. Hell yeah. How much, I am kind of poor a little bit right now. Um, definitely getting these though even though it's kind of a lot right now, we need them because they have higher stats than what we currently have. See, 60 and 20, 60 and 20, uh, 90 and 25, I think, yes. Hell yeah, look at that. Now we got a skirt on. Now we're epic. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to run out of time on that one. Oof. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that guy. Um, Jesus Christ, so many things needed for that one. And then the fish porridge. Do I have fish porridge already? No, fuck. <sighs> okay. Ah, uh, has it been two hours? I like our skirt though. That's cute. Hmm. Let's go check our time on that. And then, and then we will have... <laughs> Don't worry, this game is kind of a hot mess. Like, there's a lot happening. Um, let's put our clothes away, though. Oops. There we go, right there. Okay, clothes are put away. Um, an hour, we have an hour. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. That will be, that will be a good thing to do for an hour. We can go fishing, waste some time there. <clears throat> and then, and then we can um, finish that and then we can maybe get the cooking set done. And, or the, the fire pit or the grill. It's called the, it's the grill i think you can only make like meat on that though i don't think you can make fishing or the the fish stew on it but i mean we can we can see we can see let's fish for a little bit though that will be a nice little fun thing to take a break doing because i'm great at fishing okay i have i have this I have, I can basically just mine fish, okay? This bit, you go here, you go to this fishing spot because this has the easiest, highest um, worth fish. So you just go here and fish. That's the, that's the secret. Oh, fuck, okay. Oh, this is a big one. Oh shit, oh fuck. I'm just eating my words immediately, aren't I? No, don't, no. No, fuck, oh god, oh god, come here. Come here, this is a king salmon. This is a king salmon, it's worth five grand. Oh, no. <laughs> Come here. Come here, bitch. Come here. No, don't run away from me. Come here, though. Come here. Come here. Oh, come on. Come here. Come here, bitch. Come here. No, don't. No, no, no. no. Every time I see one of these, they escape me. No! Nah! Damn it! No! Fuck! Every time! They escape every time. <laughs> They're so hard. So basically when you're fishing, you want, you don't want the red bubble to reach the thingy because it will pop. So you want it to, um, these ones I can basically just, if you just straight up tug them from the beginning, they're not strong enough to break it. So these ones are easy. Um, however, the bigger ones, they it fills up really quick. So it's harder. But um, 
Yeah. So I've been trying to get a fucking king salmon for a while now, and every fucking time they escape me. And it's so annoying. Which is weird, because I've gotten a harder one, but not those. They, for some reason, always get me. And they don't come around that often, too, so they're hard to find. <sighs> so I'm upset that I lost it. I was getting close, too. And then also how you can tell, you see the number, the 478. So the more I press Y and pull it closer, the shorter the number gets. So when it gets to zero, you have it fully in. So yeah. Oops. Okay, let's just do one more fish and then we'll call it good because it's definitely been enough time. Okay. Let's go over to here because I put a stop over here because I'm smart. So let's go back over to our house. Yes. <laughs> well, welcome. Uh, 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 na, 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 na. Okay, um, sword back on. Jump. Um, okay. So let's get our steel thingy, steel plate. Place them. And then we're done with this bitch. Ta da! Oops, that's some. Um, let's pull the grill up now. What do I need for the grill? Where are you? Ha. Okay, what do I need? Copper pipe and 10 wood. Oh, that's easy as fuck. Wait, how many copper pipes do I need? Two, fuck. Okay, well, at least I have wood. Lots and lots of wood. And we'll move the wood down here. Um, and then I guess I'll just start making a copper pipe. This is where the copper pipes are made, so I'll just make, oops, not ten. <laughs> I'll make four of them. It'll take three hours to do four of them, so like an hour and I'll, or four hours to do four of them, so in an hour I'll have, I would have enough. What? Oh, fuck you. I'm trying to place the wood, not the copper pipe. What? Oh, fuck, I clicked hardwood? Damn it, I selected hardwood and not normal wood. Oh my god, I'm dumb. <laughs> fuck. Okay, uh... Hardwood, go back. Normal wood, come here. Also, I need to cut some of that hardwood up into normal wood, because... Yeah, that's giving me more wood. Let's do that. Now I've got more wood. Okay. There. Gosh. Okay, back to the wood to replace. Where? Oh, there you are. Wood goes away. Alrighty. Now we've got that. Huh, 42 minutes. Okay, well, in the meantime, I say that we go do a dungeon because I saved the last dungeon for you guys. And yeah, so we're going to do a dungeon. Let's do it. This is the final, the final dungeon, so this will be fun. This will be really fun. We'll find out how well I do. <sighs> um, I will definitely be able to get to the boss room. Defeating the boss, though, that will be the other thing, because, yeah. You got anyone hiding? No. Okay. Um, 
get out of my way, bitch. Die. I'm pretty good at, like, getting these guys before they even, like, come get me. a single HP. Aw, thank you. Um, what's that one? Oh, hug a puppy. I don't have any puppies. Fuck. You left me. As soon as they come back, I will hug a puppy. Are there any chests or anything on this round? No? Okay, fine. Okay, we've got five floors to go through. Alright, we got this. <laughs> it's my time at Portia. Okay, we're gonna go for this guy first. This guy does the most damage, so fuck you. And this guy's next. I don't want to go hit the next guys. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> That's what I mean by it takes some time to load sometimes because if you like accidentally click two things at once, it's like no laggy, but that's fine. Did I get everyone over here? Yep, okay. Now to this room. Shit. Three on one? No! <laughs> okay, got the first guy at least. Got the second guy. Oh. Yeah. 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 No, no. Oh, fuck. Roll away. <laughs> okay. Got him. Yes, stay in the corner. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. you. We got everyone. Okay. We didn't lose that much HP. We're, we're okay. We've got a chest there, and then we've got these two over here, so we'll go for you first, I guess. Before the other guy gets to me. Chests here, bitches. No. Okay, we got nothing there. Nothing here. Okay, what's in here? So we'll take a look that way. I don't see anything that way. Okay, looks like that's safe. But I am suspicious. chest. Look behind me because I don't trust it. I'm looking around all the corners because I still don't fucking trust it. Da, 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 da. Okay, 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 okay. Next. Oh shit, I should refill my stamina here real quick. Okay. Let's go. Two floors out of five done. Oh, fuck. Eh, I'm not super into Mario. It's kind of meh. I am enjoying playing my indie games. Okay, this guy. Here we go. There's definitely gonna be one coming up behind me here. Oh, fuck. Don't hide behind a fucking... Don't hide. That's not fair. That's not fair. You can't hide from me. Rude. Rude-ass motherfucker. No. Both of you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Come here, don't hide. Yeah, bitch. Bitch ass. <laughs> Got you, okay. Alright, now 
this guy. Is there anything else in here that I need? No, no. Okay, here we go. Yeah, die. Die, both of you. Both of you die. No. Eh. Oh, fuck. I got some more. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Don't poison me. Um, if you hold Y, it does this thing where it, like, tracks where your opponent is and it will, like, send you to them. Very handy. Okay, don't trust this. Okay, there's no one on the other side. Okay, we're good. Oops. <laughs> Hope I'm clearing a little. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at jumping over the poison. So far, so good. Wait, there's nothing. Um, I think that actually the other way is better. Oops, fuck. Um, okay. And I went right in there. Great. losing HP from anything, it's definitely the fact that I suck at jumping on these platforms. Okay, I see chest up high. So I'm gonna go up here. There we go. Got that. And then what's over here? Because it looks like there's stuff- oh, fuck you! <laughs> there. Oh, okay. There's literally just nothing back here. Red herring. Red herring that made me lose a lot of HP. <laughs> you know what? That's just mean. It's just mean. Okay, let's, um, oh wait, that's stamina. That's not what I want. Um, I want HP. Everything gives me stamina, which is like great. Love that, but ah, oh, here we go. Fucking hell. Stamina. Stamina. That's the only thing that gives me health. That gives me health, I guess. Not much so. Oh well, this will be fun. This, this final battle is gonna be real fun. Love that. Oh fuck you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next floor. God damn it. Gah. All you missed is that I am slowly dying. And I'm definitely going to lose this boss fight because I have no HP. That's okay. Maybe we can, we'll just exit out right before the boss fight. Just deal what we got here. Actually, I don't want you. Give me the other guy. Nope, this guy. Because he poisons. He's going to do more damage to me than anyone else will. of you to just wait here to be murdered by me. Thank you. Oh, there's three in there. Okay. You gonna come out here? Oh, shit. Ooh. 
Poisoned. Fuck. <sighs> Motherfucker got me. It's okay, I've got. Ooh, I have this! <gasps> How did I forget that I had that? Oh, fuck yes, I'm totally fine. Whew. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're totally fine if that's the case. Thank you, doctor, for giving me all of the medicine. Ooh, chest. Ola Valve! Thank you, I will need that. Okay. Why do I feel like there's someone on the other side of this? Wait, did they come from this way? No, no, that was the other floor. Right? Right? Oh, fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Immediately jumps in the fucking poison. Wait. Wait, wasn't I just here? Am I crazy? <sighs> Wait. <laughs> am I supposed to go this way? Or am I going the wrong way? Right, I came from this way. Am I crazy? Okay, well, let's just try it. Wait, I am supposed to go this way, just kidding. <laughs> well, not that I know, I'm just gonna... I don't know where I'm going right now, guys. This feels like just the opposite of what I just did. In, like, the other direction. Uh, um, <laughs> is there a chest up there? There is! Okay, so I have not been here before. What even? Oh, gosh. I almost thought I was going to fall into poison. It's literally just the same as the last level, but I haven't been here yet, so we're good. We're good. We're okay. Okay. Okay, boss fight? Time for the boss fight? Um, store some stamina here. Okay, maybe we can do this. Actually, I think we'll be fine. We'll be good. Oh, okay. boss fight. Here we go. Let's buff buff ourselves a slight bit. Alright. We've got defense. More defense. Stamina's up. We've got that. Okay. Mmm. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Eh. No, fuck. Eh. Fuck. <laughs> no. Eh. <laughs> it got me a lot that time. Damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, it keeps getting me on that first one. Ooh, got it that time. Okay. Eh. No. Nope. Okay, 
hold up. I'm gonna run over here. Can you? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, if it comes over there, then it's gonna reload itself. Yeah, come over here, bitch. Come over. Come back over here. Come over here. Huh? Come over here. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh shit, not this. Oh fuck. And I only have one thing left. Oh my god, okay, we're fine. Just gonna up up my up my defense. Just gonna have some of those. Hmm. We gotta get up close to him now. Okay, okay, fuck. Fuck, get up. Okay. I'm gonna take that and then hope, hope to God we can get him right now. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, this, I hate that. so close. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, we just barely made that. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're fine. We're fine now. We're good. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck, I was so not prepared for that fight. Ooh, I gotta stock up next time. That shouldn't have been as hard as it was. Like, I'm way over Like, I'm more powerful than they are, but like a lot, but... I just had nothing, and like, their one attack gets me super bad, so... Yeah, we didn't die, though. We didn't die. Like, if we do die, it will respawn us right there. But, like, it's preferable if we don't have to die. Ah. <laughs> uh. Fuck. That was way harder than it needed to be. Okay. Let's go get all of these boxes. Ugh. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Huh, alrighty. And we've cleared it. 
We've cleared the entire ruins. Ah, fuck. Thank you, soul. Thank you very much. <laughs> I do, I do mix indica with sativa. Fuck, okay. Well, back home. Actually, back to the, over to the tree farm. Because we've got one of the things we need to put in. So, we'll do that first. <sighs> These are both over here, I think. Um, what is this like? I would say it's... I don't know, it's not really like anything. Oh, thank you, Sammy. <laughs> that was probably a good idea. I should take a stretch. But we got the engine in. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Whew. All right. Let's take a stretch break. Ugh. Mm. Yes, I would say it's like Genshin Impact. Gation impact. I don't know why I, I fucked saying that up so hard. <laughs> um, I guess it's like Breath of the Wild, but I feel like I don't know. The lore is so it's very different. It's very different. So it's like a basic MMO type RPG kind of game. Um. However, it's, it's like extremely open world, um, and also the lore is that it's like an apocalyptic wasteland type deal, so it's kind of like, um, uh, I don't know, it has really interesting lore that kind of sets it apart. So, yeah. Ugh. But yeah, I really like the art um, in this game. So, the art style is really cute. And, like, the world is really cute too. I like all of the little creatures. I really enjoy the lore with it. And I just kind of love these type of games. Like, any game like this, I really fuck with it. Because I love open world RPG type games. Especially where you have to, like, do a lot of questing and stuff. So, yeah. I would, I would say, I would say... It's, um, I wouldn't really say it's like Stardew Valley that much. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's that, that close. I would say, I mean, if, the reason I say it's not really like Zelda is because with Zelda, there's usually, like, an overarching plot and quest that you're trying to go on. Um, whereas in this game, you're just kind of, like, living in this town. And it's kind of open-ended. Like, there's definitely, like, quests you can do to, like, open up new zones and stuff. And that's what I'm focusing on right now. However, if you wanted to, you don't have to do any of that. And you could just, like, hang out in town and like talk to villagers and like build stuff. Like you can literally do whatever you want. So that's why I say it's not really like that. Um, like I, I would say it's almost kind of like Sims in that way where it's like you don't, like you can literally just build up your workshop and stuff 
Like, obviously, there's a cap. You can only build up so much. So, kind of like Animal Crossing, I guess. But, like, you can go on quests and there's dungeons. <laughs> so, that's how I would say... That's how I would say it's like. Yeah. There is also romance. So, you can get married. Um, you can have kids. Um, you... Like, yeah, so yeah, you can date people, you can get married, you can get divorced, you can, like, <laughs> literally, it's like Sims in that way. So, like, that's why I'm saying it's not really like Zelda, because there's, like, a lot more that you can do in this. Yeah, all my videos are up now. Or at least they should be. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> That's a good boss fight. It's a good one to have. Alright, let's um drop some of our stuff off. We got a lot of stuff. Actually, let's kill a bunny first. Just for the fuck of it. Because we are on a murdering rampage. Just kidding. <laughs> No, you can literally, and also, you can marry anyone. Well, as long as they're not married or a child. There's limits. Thankfully. <laughs> so you can't marry kids, um, and you can't marry anyone who is married, but you can marry uh, old people if you want. There's a few old people you can fuck with. I, literally. Um... Uh, you can marry Arlo, and he's, like, one of my top contenders. He's, like, my top guy contender is Arlo. My top- I have a few top girl contenders. Ginger and Emily are my two favorites. So, yeah, I'm currently hunting Ginger. We'll get her. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you can- you can do romance in this game. It's great. Here, I'll show you. It will show you under social- Anyone who has a heart, you can marry them. So, Ginger, Django, Emily, Arlo, um, Petra, she's also cute. We like Phyllis, too. There's Gus, he's the mayor's son. Um, and also, each of them, if you, oops, if you do end up, oops, not you. Like, her, for example, if you end up uh, being whatever with her if you're her friend you get a mysterious gift and if you're married to her gail will come and give you stipends which he's the mayor so that's good um what does gus give you he's the mayor's son oh hello you have a lot of perks okay buddy three percent less goals required for homestead upgrades nice nice um friend will not check on ginger anymore when she's on a date with you wait he checks on you okay good to know <laughs> lover six percent less goals required for homestead upgrades hell yeah husband 25 percent discount when consuming in the store so yeah you can do that and it like gets you perks and stuff um also you can be friends with people and oops i keep clicking that one um if you're friends with people that you can't date or whatever like you get other stuff um ooh, i want to be better friends with you homie um but yeah so currently i'm hunting ginger i also like emily what does she get oh fuck i did it again what does she give you friends gives gifts sometimes wife receive help with domestic work and resource gathering <gasps> will also receive a 25 percent discount Ooh, girl Okay, Arlo, what do you have? Um, add an extra five attack points. Hell yeah. Add an extra ten attack points for friend. Good friend. Add an extra 10% critical chance. Husband, bring back more loot when commissioned at Civil Corpse. Eh. Eh, it's kind of meh. Um, actually, wait. Um, I'm curious what your benefits are. Because you work at the thing. Oh, really? 
A chance at receiving gifts first thing in the morning. I mean, that's sweet of you, but nothing science related? Really? Okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see, there's other people. Oh, interesting. Um, Dr. Zoo, he's available. Hello. Hello, doctor. Ooh, lots of, lots of perks. Boyfriend, add an extra 100 health points and 10% off in the store. Lover, receive a 25% discount when consuming in the store. Husband, receive health with domestic work and resource gathering and a chance at receiving gifts first thing in the morning. Wow, thanks doctor. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there's also there's other people that come this adversary. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. All the pets hate me. I think they start out as adversaries or something, though, because those ones are hard to get. Anyway, so there's a lot of people. And you can get to know them if you would like. And, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. The pipe. We've got that one. Let's go put that in the thingy. Yay. Yay. Okay, we have we have a grill now. I'm gonna put it oops. I'm gonna put it up here. Put it on the deck where grills belong. <laughs> um, there. Alrighty, what do we need for this? So we can make catfish and roasted meat. I mean, oops, let's refuel. And then I am gonna make some roasted meat actually, because that stuff is handy, but I guess we can't make the soup, which is what I fucking was concerned about. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, let's go fish again. I'll go to one of the harder zones for fishing so you guys can see what that's like. Mm -hmm. Um, as long as they are literally just hanging out here and they're like only maybe two years under 18, then I, you can hang out on strictly just YouTube as long as we are just gaming, I guess. But um, we're keeping an eye on you. Cause, yeah. General rule of thumb though, yeah, no under 18s. This is where the fishing spot is. It's like right next to the really cute little sewage spill. Which is, um, great. Oh, here you are, fish. You're literally in the sewage spill. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, come on, give me a hard one. Okay, that's not what I meant when I said that. Ah, here we go. This, this is a hard one. Oh, get back here, bitch. These ones aren't like the super big ones like the salmon was, but they're still kind of hard. You can't just drag them in like the other ones. You can. just kind of have to patiently follow them around and slowly inch them towards you. <laughs> like that. Ha ha ha. <laughs> but they are worth a lot. Um, oops, I missed that one. There. Like, see these ones I can just drag in though, which is nice. Um, okay. Sure, keep giving me salmon, that's fine. Easy peasy. Ah, another one. 
this one isn't as hard as that last one. So there's the normal fish, and then there's the emperor fish. So that's like the slightly better version of the fish, which those ones you don't get as often, but they're easier to get than the kings. Um, and the, the emperors are usually worth double what the normal one is worth. So this is worth like 350, so the emperor's worth 700. And then um, the king version is always five grand, no matter what fish it is, I think at least. But it's fun. I like the fishing. I like that you get a hunt for new fish in different locations too. But also, if you want to get a lot of fish, you have to wait for the fishing days. Um, they do like fishing tournaments and, oh, oh, geez, that was weird and glitchy. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you want to get a lot of fish, wait for the fishing tournament days and you can go to this spot, I'm pretty sure it is, and um, all the different kinds of fish are there. So it's a lot easier to like get good fish on those days. So yeah, aw, thank you. Uh, sorry, I have to <coughs> cough. Uh. Eh. It's like actually kind of hard to fish in this game. I'm like, um, it's like, it's got a more advanced fishing mechanic than Animal Crossing does because, well, I mean, I've upgraded my character. So when you can upgrade to this skill right here, the fish encyclopedia, um, you can get, um, you can get, I think it, it tells you the type of fish when like you, it pops up, I think is all that happens. Um, but it's so helpful cause then you know what it is. So if you were looking for like a tough fish and you only have a certain amount of bait, uh, you don't need to get the fish that you don't want <laughs> cause you only lose bait when you actually choose to try to catch a fish. Also, you do need bait for fishing in here, unlike Animal Crossing, but um, at least your fishing rod doesn't break. So there's that, which is kind of nice. Come back here. Come here. Nah. Nah, I didn't run away from me, bitch. Nah. Ha! Ah. Whew! Fuck. I hate those ones. They're so annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah. My time in Portia is so fun. Um, I don't think the Emperor versions of the fish are any harder to catch than the f normal version. Um, but entirely sure it might be. Don't run from me. No, don't run from me. No, uh. oh, fuck you, fish. Come here. Uh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ugh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's enough for now. Oh, my God. That was stressing me out. Let's kill some, kill some fr fucking crabs. Oh, see, this is what I meant by in the water. murdering all of the animals and Arlo was wondering why they kept dying it's me <laughs> uh. <laughs> the noise it makes Let's 
see if we can get one of the big the big lambs to come out or llamas I'm sorry llama I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I didn't mean to I'm sorry I don't want to hurt you I'm just doing this so your master comes out also because y'all have bones and I need your bones I need my llama bones but I also don't like hurting them they're too cute I'm sorry llamas I will try to put you out of your misery as fast as I can okay is the master llama appeared yet I want the big llama. There's a big llama that'll appear if you kill enough small llamas. Oh, I think it's in there. I think it's in there. I think I see it. I think I see it. Oh, yes, there you are. The cotton llama. The cotton llama. Oh, you're so cute. I want to use, eventually I want to use a trap box and catch, and catch it. Um, cause I want to use it as my mount. But, yeah, they're so cute. I love it. Sorry I have to kill you, but I must. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, get out of here. Is it healing itself right now? I think it's healing itself right now. The fuck? It's healing itself! It's magical! Oh my god, I love you, llama! The fuck? You are a magical, beautiful llama. I'm sorry I am I do have to kill you though, but I love that you can regenerate yourself. That's amazing. No, hey, 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 no, hey, don't do that. Hey, don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do this. Stop this. Stop this. Stop this llama. Stop this. Stop regenerating yourself. I must kill you. Bro. You're gonna regenerate yourself into the You're gonna Bro. Oh my fucking god. I'm switching. I'm switching. 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 Hey, let me switch. Oh, fuck you. That's not what I wanted. Must. Can I hit it like this? Can I get it? Can... Oh, f you know what? You've earned your freedom. You've earned your freedom, llama. I will let you be. You are too magical, and I cannot defeat you. I... White flag. White flag. You win. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'll just kill these beetles instead. Fuck them beetles. The beetles creep me out anyway. I genuinely don't like the beetles. I'll just kill stuff I hate instead. Fuck them beetles. <laughs> ah... I do before we run out of time and energy hmm. well I guess we could check all of my crafting stuff and get that working we should build the next thing okay we've got to do let's see we need to do uh... okay so we've got the water engine the water storage let's do that one next That'll be easier. Okay, so we need hardwood plank, iron bar, copper pipe. Okay, that's easy. We have the materials for all of that, I think. We need eight. Okay, we'll just do all of them. Oh, we need, oh, we don't have. Okay, we have 16 of those. We can do without any more of those for now. Okay, we have more charcoal now, though. Uh, I want to make more iron, I think. 
yeah, let's make more iron, and then I'll make more carbon steel, because I need more of that. Um, we got copper, that's still going good. Cool, and we've got, oh wait, that was bronze, this is copper, <laughs> silly. Um, oh, caught that one just in time before it ran out. All right, well, that's good. Uh, so we need, I guess I'll put stuff away and then grab out the iron. We need the iron bar, which I think we've got in that. So, charcoal away. <laughs> Be gone. Alright, we want... Ha! The iron! There we go. Why? And then... Okay. Eight hardwood planks. Okay, we've got that. wood and then all we need is the copper pipes which we should have by morning oh oops not that there we go ha 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 <laughs> um okay oh i want to put that one back actually i think there's wood okay wood goes bye bye um we've got that's definitely gonna be a fail I'm gonna fail this one yeah. <sighs> da, da, da. huh I'm s what I'm, I feel like I missed something in the chat hello puppies are you back you came back to hang out with mama you came to hang out with mama I did need to hug a puppy, so here is a puppy I can finally hug. Hello, puppy. Why do you feel so heavy right now? Huh? Why are you being so heavy? Come, sit by mama. Sit with me. Come sit. She's just standing right there. Come here. Come, Sully. Lol. <laughs> I've heard some really good female voice impressions. What are you doing? Up. Okay, fine. Don't hang out with me, puppies. That's fine. It's fine. Okay, so four steel plates, welding rods, two plows, then the fish porridge. Okay, so I've got. Let's see what we have of that list. We've got the, oh, we definitely have the valves. Um, we don't have the steel plates and we don't have the welding rods. Oh, it's a tiny popos. Oh, tiny popos. Oh, silly. Although I think the welding rods, I have to make, I think I need to make a new, make the industrial furnace I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I need that to be able to make the welding rods which kind of sucks because then I'm gonna have to do that before I'm able to do that look at the pupples right now look at you what do you think is happening huh what do you think is going on here little tiny dog what is this what are you doing this is not real. Also, I'm going to move this over here so I'm louder. What What do you think is happening, huh? What do you think is going on? Do you want my cereal? 
it's not for puppies. Mm. Eh. Make me fall asleep soon. Ugh. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm I'm hoping for you, whatever it is. So she wants my Rice Krispie treat. So <sighs> So Look at this dish. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. I'm sure they will appreciate that. Yeah. That's interesting that you think I should play whatever game you think I should play, but I actually don't remember saying at any point during the stream that it was up to a vote. Yes. You want some puppy meats? Sit. No, sit. Back off. Back, back. Back. No, sit. Maybe. Chill. 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 Maybe, maybe, maybe. Follow this hand. Follow this hand. <laughs> Yay! Good job. That's it. No more. That's it. No more. They're like, but there is more. I can smell it. <laughs> uh, um with the other rice crispy treat that one's already finished i already finished that one lmao okay maybe you want to start my lap Can you, can you sit? Can you lay down? Can you lay down, Floppy? Oh, there you go, good boy. <laughs> Yay, good buddy. Soft little buddy. You're so soft right now because you got a bath yesterday. Um, I think they both lasted a week, at least. It takes me a while to eat stuff, so. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, the other thing I'm gonna have to get later. So, I'm gonna have a lot of steel plates to make, is what I'm, what I'm seeing. Okay, yeah, so that one is going on that. That one's going on iron. Alright. I guess I gotta keep making steel plates. Yep. Um, okay. The last thing for this is just copper pipe. Okay. Well, that'll be good. I will go to sleep then. Eh. <laughs> do you guys like my pink ceiling I love my pink ceiling I just need to get better floors because these floors are sad but it's okay <laughs> oops I just completely threw my controller <laughs> uh. yes Cole we've already discussed this I, I told you already last stream that I would email you once I am done with my break and I start working on fudge orders again because until then there's nothing I can do either so you can stop spamming it in the chat because I, I know and I've already already responded to it <laughs> I told you last time. <laughs> uh, 
I just gotta make a new so because like they're sending it back to me but the thing is they can't send it back to me because I do not put a return address on my packages for obvious reasons um, so anything that gets returned gets lost um, so what that means is that that is just like gone now it's, it's just gone now so I have to make you a new package and um, I have to re remake it so I do not have that so you have to wait till I make more and that's how it works yeah it is an annoying process but that's what we're dealing with okay so we've got some more of this we've got these guys little buddy why are you laying like this Shoot, we only have enough. Okay, well. Um. We have enough pipes, though. So, there's that. Be done with that guy. Okay. Um. So, we've got this one done. We just have one more. We have to make the wheel. This is the last one we have to make. We need 15 carbon steel bars. Ugh. 50 hardwood, 10 old parts, and 12 large buckets. Let's see what we have. I don't know if we're going to even come close to having what we need here, but I'm a little. It's, it's a bit daunting. It is. Okay, so hardwood. That's one of the things we need. Oops, that doesn't, that needs to still needs to go and and then we need where is my crafting stone we don't have enough carbon steel bars I know that already we only have five buckets um, shoot what was the other thing we needed we need 15 carbon steel 50 hardwood old parts that was it old parts we might have enough of those actually okay old parts oh we have a lot of old parts okay cool 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 um all right we've got the wood we've got this at least um Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away since I didn't need it. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Anything else that needs to be sorted? Um, oh wait, parts. I need to put that in there and this in here. Um, What else? What else? Oh, I should put the wood away. I should put that baby away. Um, and then I need the steel plates and stuff, so I'll keep that in my pockets for now. Oh, I can put the... Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so we can make buckets, I guess? I can only make one. I need copper pot. Oh, of course I need copper pipes. Fuck. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we were making some copper pipes. Until then, we've got... How many buckets do we need? We need 12? We have six. We're halfway there. Great. <laughs> this is fantastic. Um... Alright, let's go put... Let's go put this other bucket down that we we've got. Watch me be watch. I'm gonna be really lazy right now. <laughs> I'm using this this over here over here. Yes, yes. I'm just going over here. Yeah, I know that's where I got the rest of my buckets, but 
they're kind of hard to find. Um, so I like, if I can, I like to craft stuff. Because trying to find it is kind of a pain in the ass. Yes, buddy. What is it? You keep moving around like you need something. What is it that you need? What do you need, tiny boy? Hi, Fluff. Dang, this martial arts tournament is still going on? <laughs> Wait, where do we... Oh, it goes over here. Oh. Wait, I need to put... This one. Right there. This one. Okay, so not the water wheel. Where does it go? Oh, wait. Did I even need to build this for the... Oh, fuck. I'm stupid. Well, I have this for whenever that's a requirement, I guess. Because I'm an idiot and I didn't check what I actually needed to be building right now. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic. Okay, well, I guess we can go... Hum. Hum, 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 hum. Hum, 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 hum. Okay, let's, um... See. So we need 50, but we got that. We're just waiting on carbon steel bars and... The pipes. So, I guess we can do other stuff in the meantime. It looked like someone needed my help over in this Ah, uh, ha! Emily. Emily, you beautiful bitch. Where, what, what do you need? Do you need me to catch chickens for you again, Emily? Did you lose your chickens again, Emily? You will be losing your chickens all the time. Of course, yep. Yep, of course. Off to catch the chickens. And da, 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 da. come here, chick. I got the chicken. Is that how many? Yes, okay. There were three of them. Thank you, of course. Oh, thank you for the eggs. Thank you, Emily. You're s yes, thank you, bitch. Oh, actually, hold up. I need to give you a present. Hold on. Emily! Emily, no! Stop running! I need to give you a present. <laughs> I must give you roses. Yes. <gasps> Plus 20. Yes. Wait. Are we BFFs now? Not yet. Just kidding. I think we need to get further than that. But we are catching up to Ginger. Let's see. Does she love the flowers? Oh, she does love the flowers. Okay, cool. I think Ginger also loves the flowers. Yep. Okay. Everyone loves the roses. That's a go-to. Mm-hmm. If you, if you wanted to know. Okay, so let's check our crafting times, I guess. These puppies right now are lounging on me hard. Soul's right below my feet. You can't see her, but she's, like, right there. Um, put my eggs away. Um, okay, so we've got, don't need anything there. Mm. Mm. I need to build more steel plates, but I don't have enough. Oh, you're fine, Floppy. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, copper pipes. Oops. Um. Floppy. Okay, we can make two more buckets. Okay, we're making progress here. Let's uh, go into town and see what the prices on stuff are. Maybe we can sell or buy stuff. Hopefully we can sell stuff. I've been waiting to sell stuff for a few days now. Something tells me the market's still going to be low, though. Yep. It's down. Okay. Well, we can go talk to the science center and ask them, or the research center, whatever the fuck, 
we can go talk to them and ask for more recipes because we really need the cooking recipe and we don't have it. Ugh. Emily's the obvious choice. She does do a lot. She has a lot of perks. Hey, hey little doggy. What is it? What is it, puppy? Um. Hi, where's Petra? So I can. Okay. Whatever. Where? Where's the cute waifu go? Where did? She... Where's she at? Cause that's who I would like to talk to. <sighs> He's so soft right now. You are a soft little boy. Did you know that you were a soft buddy? Yes, I think you did know this. Um, where the heck is this bitch? Hmm. Where is everyone? Can I get an oversword from you yet? No. Oh, but I should get some of these, cause I'm gonna get some of these. Cause they are nice to have. Oh, are you leaving me? What's happening right now? Okay, bye. Dear little butthole maybe. We were enjoying that. <sighs> okay, it's Saturday, so maybe she's just not working today. Maybe she's here. This is where everyone usually hangs out when they're not working. Hi, Sully. Just a cute baby. All right, let's see. Huh. Where the heck is everyone? Like, actually, where the heck is everyone? Oh, maybe everyone's at the tournament. Isn't there a tournament happening? <sighs> totally forgot about that. Alright, let's go run over there. Oh, yep, I see everyone. God, I was like, where the fuck? <laughs> where did everyone go? Oh, sorry, Papa. Sorry, Papa. Okay. Oh, hi, Papa Bear. Here, let's be friends. I would like to, oh, I would like to give you a gift of honey. Yes, yes, be my friend, Papa Bear. I love him. Ah, why are the two brothers fighting? <laughs> um, Petra, where are you at though? <clears throat> bitch. Dr. Zoo. La la la, this kid, er, kid, not a kid, she's just short. I like her too. She is also cute. Do I not have any flowers? Oh, they're right there. I was like, I swear I have flowers. Yes, yes, of course. Be my friend. Ha, ah, there you are. I found you. Hi, but you're not at the research center, so I can't. Damn you. Oh, are you up? Girl 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 are you good are you okay wait where'd you go oh she where girl what the hell what are you doing Petra where are you going ma'am are you just okay <laughs> you ran all the way through mm. Ooh, the martial arts clothes are cool Ooh, that's nice. Oh, they have little smiley face lanterns. Oh, this is for the, all of them. Interesting. The, the ghost stuff. All right, interesting. What's the bracket? Of course Higgins is winning. <sighs> oh no, Emily lost. Our waifu lost. Dang. Well, dang, now I'm kind of invested. Who's going to beat Higgins? Is Higgins going to win? 
That's some bullshit right now. If Higgins is gonna win. Are these two fighting? Again? Are there multiple rounds? Hold on. I'm getting my proverbial popcorn out. Higgins will definitely win. I don't want to bet though, because I'm going to eat those words probably. Puppies like Cheerios too. <laughs> okay, are they gonna go? Yeah, okay, we know. Oh shit, here we go. Higgins is definitely gonna. Oh. Okay, yes. I'm choosing Higgins. I choose Higgins, even though we are arch nemeses. <laughs> when are they doing it? I'm gonna just go ahead and pick up this poo, because it's kind of gross that it's just chilling. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I guess I can't do that. Huh. Hmm. Well, shoot, what to do instead? Hmm. Run around? <laughs> hmm. Bitch, what is this in the. Oh! Wait, what? Really? Oh my god, it poisons you when you step in it? <gasps> no way. Oh dang, that is a real problem there, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I can do commerce... Commerce things. <laughs> True, he is hiding something. Oh, the workshop rep. I'm gonna inspect these. Alright. We have to figure out what's wrong with them. Oh, that's definitely wrong with it, and that's wrong with it. Yes. Okay, it's like a spot the difference game. What is that? What the heck? Um, why? But also, why is it crooked already? Why is it supposed to be crooked? Okay, well, that needs to go away. And... Um... Huh. Wait, I don't actually see what the other thing is. Fuck. It's gotta be one of these legs or something. The bitch. Oh my god. Oh, it's right here. Holy shit. That was hard. <laughs> oh. Oh, the gift exchange is here too? Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any of that, so never mind. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, well. Oh, 
Oh yeah, guys. Look, I got this other chest that was up here. I'll show you how I got it. Watch this. Okay, jump up here, and you jump up here, and then you jump up here, and then you, and then you jump up here, and then you walk along here until there. Ha ha! Check it out. Now I don't know how the fuck to get this other one though. There's like bitch how bitch how I can't like jump over to the other I don't know how the fuck to get that one like genuinely have no idea <sighs> um oh well I guess we could just fish fishing is always a good option because you make a lot of money doing that so let's do that let's fish let's fish more Actually, wait, maybe we can gather stuff first and then we'll go fish. That way we keep our stuff constantly going. And then check on our fuel. Yep, see, it's a good thing we checked. It would have been depleted when we got back. Mm, yep, refill. Refill. Can we build? Yes, we can build a steel plate now. Oh, and our copper pipes are done. And I think we can make more of them. So, do that. And then, how many buckets can we make? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, one more? Dang it. Okay, we need three more. We're close. Ah, okay. Time to go fish. Mm -mm -mm. Cute little jog. We could fish over here, actually. Let's fish in a different location. Let's fish over here. This is the easiest fishing spot, I would have to say. definitely the easiest these ch these fish are worth the least i'm pretty sure hmm cuz you only got frogfish and catfish i think in this area but also i'm not upset about getting catfish because we can use them to um make food with Emperor catfish. But since this is easier, we might have a higher chance of getting a king version of either of these, so that's better. Um, but yeah. I think the frogs are only worth like either 45 or 75. Let's find out. 75, yeah. Versus in the other location, um, we've got. Oh, fuck. Damn it, totally fucked that one up. Um, in the other location, you've got the one, the salmon, which are worth 30, but then the bu the bubble fish or the puffer fish or whatever the heck, those ones are worth um, 100. So they're worth a little bit more, but they're just as easy to catch. So I like going to that location. Um, but, I mean, I also like catching the Goliaths because they're also worth, like, 350 So, if you can get good at catching those, it's harder to farm them, though. So, there's that. Come on, give us... Give us a rare fish. Come on. But see, like, I can farm these super easy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, that's a decent amount. 
DD stop all the way back to my house because <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> Yeah, the picture for the caterpillars. This is the caterpillar. Oops. It's so funny. I love it. <laughs> oh, wait, where am I going? Which also, how many caterpillars I got? Oh, I've got plenty. I have a ton. We passed some time with that, though. See how much we've got. Uh, not that much. Two minutes and craft and complete. Can we make any more? Dang it. Nope, not yet. Okay, well, we've got those. Can we make any more copper pipes? Nope. How many do I need? Uh, okay, we're at 10. We need two more. Two more. We have it. What does it require? Four. How many does it require? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I'm out of iron. Oh, ha 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 ha. I didn't realize I was out of iron. Got it. That makes more sense now, actually. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I'm out of iron ore. Oh shit. Oh shit, maybe we should go get some iron ore. You know what, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna, I don't know if this actually has iron ore on it or not, but, oh, who won? Are you gonna tell me? Shoot, I don't know if it's gonna tell me or not. Eh. But anyway, I'm gonna go on this island and uh, chop a chop some rocks because this has got all of the big rocks on it. See? Check it out. I don't know if it's actually going to have iron or not, but I don't think it will. But I will get other good stuff. See, it has tin and copper. So no iron, but that's fine. Because we've got other stuff over here that is good and we've got these crystal rocks on this island and um uh these are great because you get power stones and stuff from it or crystals depending on which one it is but um ah another rock Um, but yeah, so we'll have to go into, into one of the, uh, into the second abandoned ruins and we'll get some iron there. But I don't want to do that when it's too late in the day because it gets kind of annoying to be in there with not that much time. I like having more time. <laughs> this gives me the crystals. Can I get this one? Oh, I can. Yes. Ho ho ho. Heck yeah. Oh, this one too. I know that there's some big crystal rocks somewhere on here, but I just need to find them. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is also a good way to find bloodstones. Okay. Ha. Okay, well, no, that's a small one still. Oops. This is not the rock I meant to cut. <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted. Ha, there's a power stone. Nice. I needed some of those. Bro, I know that there's big power rocks. I know that they're on here somewhere. Maybe I cut them too recently. Maybe they're on the other part of the island. Let's hunt. I know that there are crystal rocks that grow on here. Ah, 
there's one down there. Oh, there's two down there. Nice. These are good. Please give me the power crystals. Or the power stones. <laughs> uh, the power stones are good for um, powering. Oh, I got a sapphire. Hell yeah. Um, they're good for powering up some of the equipment. Um, I don't, it's the grinding saw and the, shoot, the other one, the electrical equipment. You use it to power the electrical equipment. Because everything else is run on wood and stuff. There's also a fishing spot over here. Wait, is it on this side? No, it's on this side. We can use some fishing over here. Ah, there it is. Let's check this out. Fish a fish. Because right here is not poisoned, so. Unpoisoned fish. Not that the other ones are actually poisoned. But okay, what the fuck is this? What is your deal, fish? Can you get your little ass? <laughs> yeah, so there's koi over here. Um, and then the banner fish, I think, is what this one is. Yeah, banner fish. They're not worth that much, but I think they're pretty, so. They're nice. As you can tell, I really enjoy fishing. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then there's these ones, too. Oh, shoot. They're a pain in the ass, though, because you cannot see them, like, at all. And they are kind of harder to catch, but they're worth more. So actually, this is a good spot to fish because they're worth more. They're not worth. They're not as hard to catch as the um, the goliaths. The goliaths are just actually hard to catch, <laughs> but the bannerfish are just hard to see. Or not the bannerfish. The horse. The blue mackerel. They're just hard to fucking see, especially at night. But yeah. Hell yeah. I love fishing, it's fun. Plus, if you wait to sell your fish, oops. If you wait to sell your fish until, like, the market price has gone up, you make so much. Ugh. Oh, fuck you. For this one, I always like to follow the little, the end of the line. That's way easier to see than the actual fish. Because, <laughs> like, it blends into the fucking water. <sighs> I actually haven't tried the fishing on Red Dead. I've heard that, that it was annoying though. Actually, this is kind of, I would say more like Red Dead than any other game. Fuck you, bitch. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh my fucking God, stop it. Oh, fuck that fish. <laughs> oh, that was annoying. <laughs> Once the market price finally goes up, we're going to make so much money. Thank you for hanging out. But yeah, we're going to make a ton of money once we finally have the market price go up. Oh, here's another one of these bitches. Okay. Um... Got a decent amount of stuff now. 
Hmm. Actually, let's let's destroy these crabs. <laughs> Get some more meat. Aha. Oh, hell yeah, level me up. These guys too. Ta da! Aw, thank you, Simon! I don't give two fucks. And I don't know why you do either. Like, why do you care? Find some interesting news. Like, that's such a dead topic. <laughs> Who cares? Eh. Eh. Ooh, three ones. These things sound so funny when they die. <laughs> eh. Okay. Oh shit, I'm out of stamina. Well, that'll be the end of that then. <laughs> run back to my house. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. I'm gonna use the that flag. I'm gonna use the DD. Oh fuck! Fine. I guess there is a fucking time limit on that. Mm. I saw on Twitter that someone said something happened to Dr. Dre. I don't remember what it was though. Because I was half asleep when I saw it. Mm. Oh, oops, I already closed on that one. Okay. Oops, that's what I wanted. Make more steel plates. And then I need to make more buckets. Ah, one more bucket. That's all we need. Hmm. I wonder if we'll just hang out here for a little bit if it'll like load another iron bar and we can finish this before time runs out for the day. Oh yeah, he had an aneurysm, right? Ugh, sucks. 2021 has not started out great, I'm not gonna lie. It's not off to a great start. Give. Give me. Mm. Oh, fuck. Okay, back to waiting, I guess. I'm gonna fall asleep before I'm able to get a second one, aren't I? Dang it. Aw, oh, thank you, Vincent! Good idea. While I wait. Excuse me, little tiny baby. Shut up. Shut up. I'm, it's not late and I don't need a rest. Shut up. I'm waiting for my iron. That one hit me really hard for some reason. Ah. Fuck. 
why does this game suck? Have you played it? Like, it's pretty fast-paced right now. I'm just choosing to wait around. Huh? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. I do not... I do not know what you mean about all M&M cancel. I do not, I do not understand. Okay, tomorrow we're getting iron ore. Definitely getting iron ore. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I saw that about Doom. That's really sad. I feel like, yeah, this year has just not started out great. Start out. <laughs> like, I feel like maybe everyone jinxed it by saying that. Yeah, shut up that it's about to expire now. Um, I feel like we jinxed it because everyone is like, oh, 2121 will be better. And it's just started out so much not better. Like, bruh. Not ideal. Ah, thank you. Ooh, power stones. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. It's very sweet of you. Okay, we've got some more of this stuff. Not that much, but you know, a bit more. Um, okay, I don't need any of those. I do need, yes, the final bucket. Oh, is my storage full? Oops. Oops, okay. Um, oh, what? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I want to put the gem in there, too. Really gotta sell these fucking fish, bro. Okay. Move the 12 buckets down to here. Here, where we want them, and then we can finally place. Okay, come here. There. Okay, and then the last one is the carbon steel bars. So, carbon steel bars. The rest of you are being held to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I'm gonna make some more charcoal, I think. Um, I'm gonna use both of these to make charcoal. Because we need more charcoal. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so... We'll go and... See the prices, and then we'll go get some iron ore. Because I think... I think that is probably the most important thing to do so that we can get other places 71 really why the fuck why is the market down so low right now fuck i'm gonna, I'm gonna drop all these fish i'm gonna drop these fish because they are taking up so much room okay put them in the two cell bucket Fish are all going in here 
so many fish to sell. <laughs> uh, and these. Okay. Okay. Um, where's, oh, there's my oars. Wait. E. There. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. It's a little bit more empty. We have space now. I don't know why the market's so... Ugh. Bruh. Dude. The, that... The, the Kanye West Jeffree Star drama is... I don't even... I don't even know what to say about that one. What even? That is not... That is not the turn I was expecting for the year, or ever. Cause what the fuck? <laughs> yes, give me a pass. Yes, they were tiny fish. Um. Hello. Mm. Oh. Well, 50 iron ore is a uh, pretty decent. Let's take that. Um, let's find some. Let's find a vein. There's an iron vein over here. Yep. This is the vein I've been working at. So, as you can tell, like, the different... Is it, can we... Different, um... Different rock colors are different types of rock. And I'm... Running out of iron ore veins. <laughs> so... This is the one I've been working on, but as you can see, I'm getting to the edges of some of it. So it'll be good if we can find another one, but yeah. I can definitely get enough iron out of here to last us for a while. Oops. Yes. What's harder is getting lead. Uh. E. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Ugh. <laughs> that lag, though. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay, I'll get a little bit more and then we'll actually go hunt for some relics. Let's go hunt for some relics. There's gotta be some around here. There's one. Oh, there's a closer one. Uh, but it's hard to get. Okay. Let's do that. Yes. Well, we'll get some magnesium out of this, at least. I also really enjoy this mining mechanic. It's very relaxing. Ah, tempering liquid. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Oh, a lot. A lot more. Nice. This is my time at Portia. It's really fun. And it's only like seven bucks or something. It's pretty cheap right now. Or at least it was when I got it. Which wasn't that long ago. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Ooh, I saw one over there. Oh, I love this mechanic too. 
It's really nice. Also, does anyone else, like, I, I don't know if there's even a point in doing this, but I love trying to dig out the center thing there. It's so entertaining for some reason. <laughs> Yes, and you get a jetpack. So, the jetpack part is really fun. I like flying around a lot. What is it? What is it? Oh, industrial engine. Okay, hopefully I can get up here. Yes, okay. I am strong enough. Hello. Nope, okay. There's more this way. Okay, well, there were... Bitch, there was, like, a lot. Maybe it was over here? Ah, yeah. Got him. <sighs> no, I don't only play Switch. It's just Switch is hooked up to my streaming setup the easiest. And I like streaming with it the best. It's it just is the easiest because I don't. If I'm playing a game that's like on my computer, I have to be like hunched up over there, and it's kind of not super comfortable. Um, however, if I'm playing Switch, as you can see, I can chill back here, and like it's a lot more comfortable. So, oops. So yeah. Plus, I like the controls on the Switch. So, um, where the fuck? Oh. Oh, I don't want to do that, because... Yeah, yeah, shut up. Shut up, don't rub it in my face, you assholes. God. It's not my fault no one gave me the recipe for it. I can only do so much. Yes. Give me, give me things. Okay, um... Let's, let's dip. Um. That too. My computer, uh, isn't the best, so it, uh, doesn't run games super well. My other computer, like my actual computer does a lot better. But yeah. Hey, tiny puppy. Okay. I think there's another commerce um, evaluation today. Let's do that. Um... It's sort of just like an RPG where you, you're you like a builder and what the fuck is the, ha, huh. um, but yeah, so you're like a builder for this town and you, um, complete quests and stuff and try to unlock new zones. I don't- this. Oh, really? Both of them are right there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just thought I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> cool. Okay. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, I leveled up. Yes. Now it costs 
20% less materials. Haha. -ha. Hmm. I'm just checking out everything else. Anyway, um, okay, let's check out what we've got going on over here and drop off our stuff. I am having Honey Nut Cheerios. Well, I've got the four steel plates. I've just got to finish this bitch up. Iron bars, two. Two carbon steel. I should actually grab the carbon steel bars and put them into, ha. Huh, put those in my inventory because we're gonna need those. That's the final thing that we need. Hmm. At least we've got more charcoal. Now we can make more of those. And we can make more iron bars. Yay. Ha. Um. Shoot. Now what? Oh, I wonder if they're back in the museum finally. Or, sorry, not the museum. In the fucking research center. I don't know why I always forget what that's called. Anyway, hopefully they're in the research center now because I can go ask for a fucking recipe. Because I really need it. Do I have my data disks? Yeah, okay. Really desperately need the recipe for the fucking cooking stuff. At least the blender. Because that way I can get scraps back home safely. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. use all of them. I'll do 15 more. Okay. Hopefully she'll give me something good. Let's check out if they have anything. Weapon rack, training dummy, loudspeaker. I already have those. Okay. Grr. Hmm. <laughs> Fruit Loops are really good, I do have to say. <sighs> uh, no. I do not need to buy anything. Hello, Polly. It is, it is the work of villains. Since it's cheap though, right now, okay, we've already got that recipe. Is there anything else we need, though? What else can we afford? Hmm. Wooden storage. I've already got that. Maybe a chair. Max my stamina. Ooh. Seven defense. Hmm. Hmm. I don't 
don't want to spend all my money though either. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save it. I love potato chips. My favorite potato chips are the Calbee honey butter potato chips. They're so good. I've been out of them for a while though, so I need to go find more. Ooh, actually, I, f I keep forgetting about the fact that I even have this. Oops. I left this up here for a while. Let's move this actually down here. Um, we'll make like a little cooking station over here or something. We can put it right next to the house. How about that? Yeah. Perfect. Now I won't forget about it. <gasps> oh, we can go buy some salt. That's what we can do. We can go buy some supplies for cooking from the farm. That is a thing we can do. Haha. -ha. They're from Japan. Oh. Not you. Sorry, Sophie. I need some... Oh, not that much. Let's just get, like, 25. Um, and then while we're here, we might as well get some flour. We'll get, like, 10 of them. Just preemptively. Same with tea. We'll just get five. I'm just getting this stuff preemptively so that then when we can cook, we're able to since it's cheap right now. We have that. Layered carrot. We can get some of those. Sugar. We can get some sugar. Pumpkin? We'll get a pumpkin. Or a few pumpkins. We'll get some of those. And then we'll get some of these. Mm. We should get more fertilizer, actually. We'll get like 20. That way we can actually do more farming. So we've got that. Okay. Actually, wait. Did I get any peppers? I don't think I got peppers. Or milk. I should get more milk. Okay, we've got 10 milk. And then we'll get 5 peppers. Oh, okay, there we go. We stocked up. Um, I, you can meet the mystery guy. It's just kind of hard to find him. rental and the fucking cows <laughs> hmm. Ooh. I should buy some chicken and um, beef since we're here I cannot get over the cows. Look at that. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. Yes, Daiso does have the chips. They're also at Awajimaya, but I haven't been to either for a hot minute, so. <laughs> Dero? Okay, three days. Uh. Hmm. Three days. You know what? 
instead of doing that, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna double team it. So we've got two going. That way we don't have to wait as long. Um because <clears throat> we need fifteen, so we need ten more. So between these two shouldn't be that much of a ask, I think. Hmm. Let's chop a chop some trees while we're here. Maybe kill a ladybug or two while we're at it. Oops. Ugh, I love Daiso too. It's so good. We can find the best shit there. Hi, puppies. Hello, pups. Yes. Die. Get out of my face. I want to kill all of these guys, actually. It's just so fun. Ooh, I should see if I can build an iron sword. Yes, that's a good idea. Hmm. Ha ha. Anyone else? Respawn, bitches. Come here. Let me kill you. <laughs> oh, yes. The powerful bitch. This bitch is annoying as fuck. This bitch fucking murders me every time if I don't hit her first. God, she's so annoying. Eh. Thank you, Simon. Hmm. That's a good question. Um, probably no one. I don't know. I like being myself. <laughs> um, if I had to... Um... Oh no, pop balls. I dropped material. Okay, fine. Come here, buddy. Give you a cheerio too. There you go, Popples. Got another one. I would switch bodies with Popples. I would switch with Popples. Come here, buddy. There you go, Popples. Got it. Hello. You want to hang out with me now? You want to hang out with me now that you know that there's food here? <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, what am I doing right now? Putting stuff away, actually. Gotta... Mm. Hopefully food isn't... Oh. It's almost full. Fuck. This has gotta go in there. Maybe I'll put the meat in a different... I'll make a new... Yeah, I'll make a new chest and put meat in it. So anything that's not that, like this and that. Oh, now you're leaving because I gave you stuff? You suck. Dang, I should do another one for veggies and stuff. Oh, that's also meat. Hmm. Do eggs count as meat? No, I think they don't. Um, I'm gonna leave the plants in there too. Because I feel like those don't count either. Mm. <clears throat> but that does. Maybe I'll leave the animal fat in too. Okay. You don't need to get out right now, puppy. You just came in not that long ago. You're fine. What are you 
is what is happening <laughs> i don't know what's going on Ooh, what's this oh hello i'm gonna move this down here it's way better mm, okay um maybe i should leave the ginger in here too okay yeah i'll do that time to make new boxes two wooden chests now let's see if i can build a sword dang it I need more iron oh i can build that though mm. Mm. I'll make one. Okay. Um, but I really want to do the iron sword. I need more iron, though. Fuck. That's fine, I guess. Oh, wait. I want to put the boxes down. The boxes. And put them there. Ooh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Okay, so this one can be. Oh, wait. Meat. This one will be meat. And then this one can be veggies. we go ta-da okay um veggies we do, we do, 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 do fruit that's okay that's not a veggie <laughs> you know what i mean though with that, when i say veggie it's fine it makes sense still um okay those ones and then meat you 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 and you. Cool. We got it all. Now there's more room. Okay, crafting completed. Uh, we need more though. So I'll keep doing it. Um, and we still need more. And we got plenty of wood though. Okay. Need more wood. Keep crafting. Okay. Um, do, do, do. We've got a little bit more stamina. Let's go destroy some animals with our epic new fucking gloves. <laughs> um. Oh, actually, you know what I'm doing instead of doing that. <laughs> Even though I just ran over here. <sighs> <laughs> you can be too drunk to die. Uh, what? Take me over here. Okay, now we run over here, and we look for the bunnies. There you are, bunnies. Ooh, hello, mushroom. We'll, thank you. All right, let's get them bunnies. Ooh, oh, that's a, oh. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I am destroying bitches right now. Oh! What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. Don't worry though, I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Can we get the master bunny to come out? Oh, mushrooms. Respawn, bunnies. Respawn so I can coax your 
big bunny out. Because, like, every time you kill a bunch of the smaller creatures, the, the bigger one comes out. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, there it is. Mm. Don't worry, though. I'm going to get it. Ooh, nice. Cool. Can I just keep destroying them? I'm shocked. It's not that much more powerful than the normal bunnies. Oh. Dude, these gloves are OP. I am just... Did I wipe them all out? I think I did. They're all gone. Oh, fireflies. I love the fireflies. Oh, yes, there is a wabani. Moa bun. I want to get you, mommy. Yeah. Oh, nice. I wish I got the hat, though. It is very chill. <laughs> um, after this, I say we play West of Loathing. Um, actually, wait, hold up. I'm gonna take another DD ride over here because there's other animals to murder. They really are, and I love it. Oh, really? Just two strikes. Oh my God. Let's go get more. There's more over here. Yeah. spawned back over here yes that one though hi glitchy come here let me kill you oh my god I love this hey don't hit me asshole <laughs> I say while well, murdering you and your whole family oh a patch a patch of stuff. Eh, give, give me, what is this? Ginger? Oh, nice. Ginger patch. Anything else? Oh, there's more over here. Hell yeah. Nice. Epic. This is so much here. Fuck yeah. Where are the birds now? I want to kill you. <laughs> I want their master to show up. Can you come here so I can kill you? Thank you. Ah, there you are. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Me oh, come here. Nah. I love killing these birds because they give me so many things. You get a lot of stuff when you kill the birds. Oh, there's another big one. Fuck yes. Where'd it go? It was right here. What the heck? 
Oh, it went down there. Hey. Hey, little bitch. Come here. Son of a... I can kill you. <laughs> nice. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Fuck, where am I? Oh shit, where am I? Oh gosh. Eh. Actually though, where the fuck am I? Okay, cool, right next to here. <laughs> that was convenient. Epic. They're so big. Usually it takes me like 10 swings with my sword to take them down, so the fact that I can get them with these that easy is pretty impressive um, okay drop off the stuff we got because we got a lot of good stuff um, and then I guess we'll check here get more of this make sure it doesn't need any more wood before we go to sleep and then after we go to sleep, I think, I think we'll start playing West of Loathing. Yeah. yeah. All right, time for sleep. Actually, maybe not. Actually, yes. Meh. Yes. 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 We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna go to sleep, and then we're gonna go on to, go on to the next game, because if I don't, we're just gonna play this all day, which I could do, but I wanna also play other things. <laughs> so the way you save in this game is by going to sleep. So, yeah. Yes. Um, we have steel plates, but the welding rods, we have to build an entire new uh, machine to build those. So, it'll take us a while. And, yeah. So, that's why. That's, that is why. That is why. <laughs> yeah, the wow building is on hold until we can get all of the stuff. <laughs> Good night. Hell yeah. Okay, where are we at now? What things do we have? Oh yeah, we got the circus ticket. We did a lot. Okay. Oops. I don't know why I pressed that. I meant to press B. <laughs> um. That's what I wanted. Oh, we have XP to spend. Okay. Upgrade that one. Upgrade that one. Definitely upgrade Bean Wall. Um, I feel like we should upgrade Bean Golem. And then, <clears throat> no, we can't do that one yet. Feel like I want to do that one. I don't ha I don't think I can get anything else. Anything else is too expensive. Okay. Alrighty. Oops. Spent the map. Sorry, I keep forgetting the controls here. Oh, snake pit mine. Let's check that out.
I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. So, ah. At the side of the trail, you see a small hell cow. A hell calf, really. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to eat. Um, it snorts at a patch of bush. Oh, brush. Lighting it on fire, then starts grazing. Ah, kill it! Jeez, calm down, Susie. It's only a little one. Kill it before it gets bigger! <laughs> um, yes, lure into a trap. You quickly dig a small pit and cover it with tumbleweed. Which you light on fire. The hell calf canters over excitedly. Or upon you kick it into the hole and throw rocks at it until it's banished from this plane. Now that was Maddie satisfying. <laughs> cool. Easy peasy. Mm -mm -mm. What? You're not a bad person. Why would you think that? Hi, bubbles. Okay, so I see the fact that there is meat here. Hmm. Dang, no one knows. What is it, Susie? Help me, bitch. Mm, I still can't use that. Oh, stretch. Oh, fuck. Oh, build a crate. Open. Dynamite. Nice. And spiked coffee. Yes. I get it. Okay, it's 20. Oh. <laughs> I forgot we had an epic fork. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we all get that way sometimes, but it's important to remind yourself whenever you start getting, like, bad thoughts in your head like that. You just gotta remind yourself that it's probably just something within your head making you interpret things differently than they actually are. Because usually, you know, it's uh, not as bad as we think it is. Have I tried any new potato dishes? I have not. Uh, it's hard to come up with new ones when you've tried so many. Also, thank you, Al. <laughs> Mwah. And tiny bubbles. <laughs> Attempting, anyway. All right. A smoking snake? Interesting. Boom. Got him, because we're epic. Dude, literally the most helpful tool. Snake eggs? Meh. Can I get all of them at once? Nice. <laughs> epic. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've figured the best way whenever I, like, start getting in that bad kind of thought pattern cycle, um, what I usually do is I just find someone who I can trust, or if there's no one I can trust that I can find, I find some random person, and just spill my guts to them, and I feel like you always end up feeling better once you've gotten it off your chest, because... Usually once you can tell it to another person, you'll see how ridiculous you sound and that you're probably overreacting and it's not that bad and whatever you did, it doesn't matter or, you know, whatever issues you're having, they probably have a solution um, that you just haven't thought of yet, you know? I mean, I don't know exactly what your um, situation is right now, but... You know, if you 
if you haven't done anything and nothing has happened and you just like have this feeling that you're a bad person then you are definitely not a bad person you are just like beating yourself up you know hello you are a very needy little tiny puppy right here do you want to come up come sit by mama come sit by mama How would you talking to yourself give you a new perspective, though? That's my question. Because you ha you are already your own person. Like, talking to other people is what gives you a new perspective. You know? Because you can only give yourself <laughs> so many perspectives, you know? Because you are your own person. But if you talk to another person, they might have, you know, completely different life experiences, which will give them different background and therefore can give you other advice that you might not have thought of yourself you know <laughs> you're fine um okay let me read this i think i'll stick around here in the open air if it's the same to you not interested in exploring the mind it's just a cave with fancier rocks and usual what <laughs> okay um Hello to Romania. Okay, what should we do next? Sneeze, new rail camp. What else? Ah, the pickle factory. I forgot about the pickle factory. Oops, wait. Ah, I can upgrade. Mm, let's do that one. Okay. The pickle factory. The pickles. Yes. Because didn't I like fail that one last time? <laughs> Ooh, a new cave. You hear a strange humming noise and take a brief detour to discover that it's coming from the mouth of a nearby cave. We'll check that out later. Oh. Oh no, Sammy! Where are you flying out to? If you can tell us. It's fine if you don't want to. <laughs> yes, let's go check this out. Oh, yeah. I forget. Did we? Oh, we got this one to work. Ah, we must finish this guy. Salt! Salt, salt. Gotta salt the salt. Salt. You alright there, partner? Salt! <laughs> um, oh wait. That's not what I meant to click. Put him out of his misery. Okay. We'll get him first, because pickles. 15? Okay. Okay, pickles do no damage. <laughs> oh, fun! Well, I hope you enjoy yourself, Sammy. <sighs> Maybe I should up my armor. Um, and let's do this. And then we'll get that guy. No! Sammy! Or wait, not Sammy. <laughs> What's her name? Isn't it also start with an S? Shoot, what's her name? Susie. Fuck. I was close, actually. Hello. Why are you sitting here crying at me, little baby?
Well, you can always watch the replays. They will be there. We will definitely miss you, though. Here, let's see. Oh, I can't do that one again. All right, let's do that one. Boom. And that one. Boom. Got him. <laughs> Why would I look at the news right now? I'm streaming. I have peacefully avoided looking at the news for the last, like, five days. And I will thankfully continue doing so. Okay? And I will enjoy it. Okay, so this is supposed to be... Shoot, what was this one supposed to be? Hmm... We'll figure that out later. Kill the final ghost first. Hmm. We'll just kill him. <sighs> Oof. That is crazy. Um, let's get that one. Do this again because I can. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, it's a tiny bubbles. I like how Susie's still here this round. Um, I'll just take you out. Oh. It did less damage that time. Interesting. Mwah. The meaning behind the cow outfit, it's because I wanted to play West of Loathing. And there's cows. That's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> One more peacle. One more. Bye. Got him. Cursed pants. Yay. Let's check out what we've got. Oh. What do we got? Hmm. It's definitely the best one here. Um, let's check out pants. Plus four. Ooh. But I do like the pistol damage. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're fine. Okay, now let's figure out these puzzles. Okay, so for the salt one. So the salinity meter reads 531 parts per tablespoon, maybe? Hmm. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Hmm. Because I remember when we first came in here, they told us. Now I don't remember. Hmm. Okay, so that changes by the hundreds. That changes the tens. And that changes the ones. Alright. Hmm. Huh. Parts per trillion? Okay. 
Let's see, we just need to figure out what the number we have to get it to is. Puppy. Okay, I'm gonna cave and look it up because I don't remember from the last stream. Tiny puppy. Tiny dog. You are a tiny dog. Tiny bubble horse. Pat pat. Pat pat. Wait, Vincent, do you remember? Okay, then I won't look it up. Let's try 976. Are you sure that's right? I'm gonna do it. 70. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> okay. Then the vinegar one. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what about what about this guy? Maybe add some coal. One of six, and then what happens on this? Ah. How low does it go? Oh, okay, 70 is the lowest. <sighs> Help. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, I feel like we've got to add... I'm just going to keep it at the lowest amount because I feel like we can control it more if we do that. So let's just add a bunch. Let's add 50. Now it's 175. I don't know what it's supposed to be at, but I feel like... I'm just trying to think what a good cooking temperature for oil is, and it's like 180, right? One eighty? Maybe? I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it's one eighty. Should I do it? I'm gonna try. Shoot. I was wrong. Okay, it's not 180. Okay, I'm gonna add another shovel. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just keep going up by five. Okay, 190. We got it. Oh, I see it in the chat now. <laughs> Thanks, Vincent. <laughs> Hell yeah. Only three pickles. Yeah, that's not that much. How do I get out of here? Where's the door? There. Fuck. <laughs> oh, what? Commune with her spirit? Okay. You reach into Greta's grave with your mind. 
Oh no, you're late for your shift. Oh, is this... Oh hey, this is where it tells you. I could have just come out here, right? Maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does. It does. Okay, cool. I still can't forage, Ram. Hell yeah. Hello! We are playing... Yeah, it is the same flashback. We're playing West of Loathing right now. Oh, let's go to the circus! Yeah, I want to see what's up with the clowns. Okay. Okay. Let me read it. You are not too late. We will still be on for a little bit longer. Okay, looks like you found the circus whose clowns... Oh, those clowns we're talking about. Ugh, a circus. That's like a clown hive. Fortunately, it's not a very big circus. There's probably... There probably aren't very many clowns. Certainly not enough for an army or invasion force or anything. Still, since it turns out demonic clowns are a real thing, any number of them could be real trouble. You walk up as nonchalantly as possible. So the clown manning... Clowning... The ticket booth won't suspect you know his horrible secret. Whistle innocently. Yes, yes. Um, as you approach, the clown puts on that basically cheerful facial expression that retail employees use when the last thing they want to do is deal with a customer, but they're not allowed to say no. Um, welcome to Barnaby Bob's perfectly normal traveling circus sideshow, ma'am. How may I help you? Um, I'd like to run away with the circus. I'd like to see the circus. Let's see the circus. I have a ticket. Yes, I do. I have a ticket. The clown looks very surprised. What? How did you... Er, well, great. Good for you, ma'am. I'll just take that and stamp your hand for re-entry. There we go. Enjoy the show. What about my partner? Partner's getting free. Thanks. Alright. Let's check this out. Oh god. You walk into the circus. Actually, it's more of a carnival, but let's not split hairs. As nonchalantly as possible. There are a bunch of clowns around. Working at the booths and so on. More clowns than customers, of which there don't seem to be more than a dozen or so. Which is good, and that means the clowns can't disappear you as easily if they figure out what you know. But on the other hand, if things go wrong in here, innocent bystanders might get caught in the crossfire. Cool. The sideshow. Food. The clown grins and gestures at a little charcoal grill behind him. Howdy, ma'am. Interest you in a hot, foot-long sausage? What are they made of? What do you mean? They're pork. What else do you make a sausage out of? Regular pork or long pork? <laughs> I'm sure I don't know what you're implying, ma'am. What? I don't either. Uh, 250 meat. What are the condiments? I got onions, pickle relish, three kinds of mustard, and two kinds of ketchup. What kinds of mustard? Brown, yellow, and blue. Blue? Blue mustard. Oh, looks like I'm all out of that. Sorry. Two kinds of ketchup? Ketchup and catsup. Lol. Okay. Should we take one? I think we should. Let's do it. Thanks. Alright, let's check this one out. 
Howdy, ma'am. Care to treat yourself to an ice-cold soft drink? You said you're selling them in bottles? That's right. Got the new fangled crown cork bottle caps and all. What kinds do you have? Root beer, ginger beer, and sarsaparilla. How about grape? Nope. <laughs> do you make the drinks yourself? If you're asking if we have a wagon dedicated to brewing and bottling three different kinds of sodas in our traveling carnival, no. We stock up as we pass through large towns. Ah. How much are they? 205 meat. 205? It's for the deposit on the bottle. Okay. Ooh, which one should we get, guys? Root beer, ginger beer, or sarsaparilla? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, puppy. root beer okay I agree I like root beer the best <laughs> okay okay thank you okay the clown blows his side whistle down again as you approach Fweet. <laughs> step right up miss step right up and try one of the world's newest candy sensations what is it? Cotton candy. The finest in several senses of the words. Spun sugar created through a revolutionary new process. And so light and sweet and fluffy, it's like eating butterfly dreams and kitten wishes. So it isn't actually made of cotton? What? No, cotton is ingest indigestible, no matter how much chocolate you cover it with. Found that out the hard way, did you? <laughs> how do you make it? He pats a metal box with a wide funnel coming out of the top. This little machine right here. Can't you tell how it works? Much as I'd like to brag, it's a trade secret. You invented it? Not as much. Couple dentists down south were the first ones. Dentists, go figure. But after hearing about it, I managed to figure out how it works. Made a few improvements with my design, too. Now I'm really curious. Sorry, miss. The secrets in this box are for nobody's eyes but my own. I'll be happy to sell you some cotton candy, though. How much is it? Just 300? All right. 300. Okay, the clown puts his slide whistle down on the counter, ducks underneath, and comes back up with a prop with a paper cone, which he holds in the mouth of the metal box. He puts down he, oh, he pulls down a lever and the machine makes a thin squealing sound as a glittering white spun sugar collects around the paper cone in a fluffy cloud. Here you go. Thanks. Okay. There's a clown here selling rubber toy balloons. You notice that he's watching you, and then he notices that you've noticed, and he smiles and waggles the balloons at you enticingly. Howdy there, miss. Interested in... Interest ya in a toy balloon? Hmm... How do you make them float like that? Why, there's nothing to it. Heck, they all float around here. Ho ho, of course. Okay. What colors do you have? We'll just take a look. Um, red. They're all red. <laughs> How much are they? 30 meat? Okay. Can you tell me more about your circus? Really, it's more of a carnival, but let's not split hairs. Ho ho. What would you like to know? Hmm. What are your traveling plans? This place you've set up is kind of out of the way. What are your plans? Haven't decided yet. That's why we set down here somewhere a bit more rural. Keeps things relatively quiet while we scout around. Get the lay of the land and all. Ho ho. Where'd you travel from? Was your previous stop interesting? Oh, northwest-ish. It was a little hole in the ground kind of place. You wouldn't have heard of it. Ho ho. Why is everyone working here a clown? Oh, it's traditional. When the, what do you call them? Rodeos stopped being put on. The rodeo clowns took other jobs at the circuses and carnivals. Over the years, it just became the normal thing for clownies to become, carnies to become clowns. 
It's a community, you might say. Ho ho. Okay. Who is this Bar Barnaby Bob guy? Oh, the boss is a real famous showman. Though, I'm not surprised you wouldn't have heard of him around here. Ho ho. Got an eye on... Got an eye like a hawk. And he's a real whiz with those knives of his. Don't miss his show. It's a real highlight of the carnival. Okay. Weirdo. Sus. They're super sus. Bruh. I don't trust it. Mm. We'll deal with the sideshow in a sec. Read the sign. Condemned until further notice. We encourage anyone suffering from horse bites to consult a doctor. <laughs> the main stage. Okay, we'll do that later. A game! Yes. Howdy there, miss. What we have here is a game for sharp eyes and quick reflexes. Hope you won't take it as an insult if I suggest one of our other games might be more your speed, but you're welcome to try all the same. What's the game? Um, well, on the wall behind me, I've got a bunch of thick skin under inflated balloons. For 10 meat, I'll loan you a cheap, inaccurate pistol and a pile of badly made ammunition. And your goal is to pop as many of those balloons as you can before the pistol stops working. That's an unusually honest sounding description. I've discovered making the challenge sound exactly as difficult as it is. It only makes people more determined to be the one who beats it. <laughs> What's the prize? A ticket to Barnaby Bob's stage show, which is otherwise sold out, so it's a rare catch, my friend. Okay. Oh, shit. No, we're not good enough yet. <laughs> yep, that's about average. Not enough to win a prize. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. What's this one? Um... Ah, it's a card game. Okay. And I'm guessing it's also, of course, it is a ticket. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I've got a little better. I got a small plush owl. Okay. Well, that's not the worst. Okay, what's this one? And the prize? Uh, it's, it's, yeah. Oh, I'm not good enough for that one either. Fuck! Okay, who is this? Oh, it's a child. You okay, kid? Did you lose your parents? I lost my lucky bottle cap. You haven't seen it, have you, ma'am? No, but I'll keep an eye out. What does it look like? It's shiny steel. It's on a little chain. Okay, I'll let you know if I find it. Hmm. There's a clown here selling rubber toy balloons. Wait, it's the same clown? He looks identical. Is he following you around? Uh, weren't you on the other side? Ha, nope, that's the other balloon guy. We just dress alike and use the same face paint. Did we fool ya? I see. Okay, it's the same. Alright. Um, I'm gonna let the pops out because they would like to go out. So, BRB. Okay, we're back. Sans pops. Hmm. Okay, let's. Oops. Let's go over here. Let's go. Well. Let's talk to this guy. Stage showing till later. When? Later. Yeah, but when exactly? Later. Okay. Dang. All right. Sideshow. Can I interest you in the wondrous and mysterious delights of the side the sideshow? <laughs> what do you have in there? Secrets, mysteries, things too weird and disturbing to be witnessed by the light of day. Freaks? Not just freaks. Gosh. How much does it cost? For you, 300 meat. And for everyone else, 300 meat. Okay. You won't be disappointed. 
And then, and in the event you are disappointed, no refunds. Alrighty. The sideshow tent is fairly large and packed with weird things to look at, like all the good sideshows are. A few lanterns are hanging from the ceiling, casting flickering shadows around and making everything look even more eerie. A clown is hanging out in here, presumably to keep an eye on the exhibits. He grins and nods as you enter. Come on in, take your time, have a good look around, just remember, no touching. Okay. Start over here. This looks like one of those weird bent mirrors that make you look all crazy. Okay. This mirror somehow shows you what you'd look like in clown makeup. Bloodshot eyes stare back at you from a pasty white face painted with an odd pattern of red triangles. In the flickering lantern light, it almost looks like she winks at you. Creepy. Um, the mirror makes you look really stretched out and thin. Your limbs twist and wither like snakes as you move around. It's a bit unsettling and your muscles ache a little, sympathetically. Okay, this one. Your reflection in the mirror is short and squash looking, folded up like an accordion. You spend a moment moving back and forth in front of the mirror, seeing how the image changes. It's kind of amusing. All right. Creepy clown. Howdy, miss. Welcome to the sideshow. Thanks. So what's to see in here? Well, down to the left, we have our collection of spooky warped mirrors. Right here, we have exhibits of clown eggs and pickled punks. What? And further down to the right is our freak show. Feel free to explore and I'll be here if you got any questions. Okay, we'll come back if they want to ask. These shelves are displaying a large collection of strangely painted eggs. You see several shelves full of white eggs, each one painted with a unique pattern of colorful shapes. And a small placard pinned to one of the shelves says, Clown eggs. In the circus community, it is traditional for each clown to paint their chosen makeup pattern onto an egg shell. These clown eggs are archived for future reference to ensure that no one chooses a pattern that has already been used. It is considered extremely taboo to wear another clown's face. These must be the eggs for the clowns that work in the circus. You recognize a few of them, like the clown here in the sideshow tent and the ticket seller clown out front. Say, wait a minute, here's an egg for the balloon selling clown. Didn't he tell you there's the other guy wearing the same makeup? According to the sign, that seems unlikely. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, inspect more closely. Oh, sorry. Okay, they're filled with jars and things. You lean in a little closer to inspect the jars. They mostly contained malformed and or mutated animals pickled in a formaldehyde. A three-headed kitten, some kind of ferret or weasel with eight legs, a twisted mobius loop of snake without a head or tail, weird crazy stuff. One shelf seems devoted to huge gross pale grubs, like fat featureless white worms the size of sweet potato. The one on the end is larger than the others and has shiny black eyes. Someone has painted its face in an apparent parody of clown makeup. Yuck. Take a closer look. The pasty white face has been painted with little blue triangles over and under the eyes. The creature has a long thin slash of a mouth as well, and the area around it has been painted with bright red lipstick. The black eyes flash red as the thing suddenly thrashes in its jar, spitting to face you and stretching its mouth open, revealing rows of yellow shark teeth. You rumble back with a cry of shock. Gah! <laughs> you got got you pretty good there, Missy. W what the heck What was that? <laughs> it ain't a real critter. It's made of rubber and clay and doll parts and such. Got an electromagnet under the shelf to move it with. He takes a little push button and gives him out of his pocket to show you. Should have seen your face. You jumped right out of your boots. <laughs> I don't know if I believe him. <laughs> ok 
Okay. This guy is startling sight, even for a circus freak show. His entire head is one enormous eyeball. As you look over him, oh, as you look him over, he stares back at you. Not that he's got much choice. Okay. Uh, hello there, I'm Jesse. How's it going? Can you talk? Guess not. Take a closer look. You move a little to the side and lean over the rope to get a closer look at the guy. He's basically just what he seems to be at first glance. A guy with a giant eyeball for a head. You do notice two things, though. First, he has an odd lump at the... Well, what would you... Well, what you would call the base of his skull, if he had one. A sort of crumpled, fleshy mass the size of a fist. With a squint and some investigation, it almost looks like the crushed and shriveled vestinal remains of a human head. The second thing you notice is that his ankles are locked to the legs of the stool, and the legs of the stool are bolted to the floor. So the circus gig, how do you like it? His hands slowly curl into fists, and the knuckles turn white with tension. I see. Uh, understand, I mean. Do you blink? Or wink, I guess? I guess not. Rip, homie. Rip. That's, um, yikes. Oh. Okay, what about this guy? This man is neatly dressed. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ugh, whatever. Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to the side. Welcome to the side show. My name is Douglas. Hi, I'm Jesse. Delighted to meet you. So, uh, well, are you perhaps trying to think of a polite way to ask what's wrong with me? Yeah, you got me. <laughs> um, don't worry, Jesse. I am in a side show after all. Is it? It is an obvious and natural question. Wait a minute. You said that last bit without moving your lips. Are you a ventriloquist? Not at all. Allow me to demonstrate. He stands up and turns around. His back is the same as his front. That is, his suit has been tailored with two front sides, and he has another face on the back side of his head, with his hair cut and parted appropriately. Hmm. Ta-da! As he sits back down... <clears throat> His knees and other joints crack and pop loudly as they reverse themselves. Douglas winces slightly, though certainly not as much as you'd expect. What in the... Surprising, yes? A bit, yeah. How is that even possible? Douglas shrugs and holds his pipe up to the now back of his head so his other front face can take a puff. Are you... What's the phrase? Siamese twins? Not exactly. It is difficult to describe, I'm afraid. Two minds in one body with two faces? It would be closer to the truth to say two instances of the same mind with, as you say, two faces. You're right. That doesn't make any sense at all. The other face chuckles and Douglas holds his magazine behind his back. It took some getting used to. That much is quite certain. Hmm. Were you born like this? I would rather not discuss how I came to be this way, if you don't mind. Okay, sorry. Your knees must be a wreck. Surgery was necessary to permit them to bend in both directions. It sounds worse than it feels, I assure you. Why are you in a sideshow? With a regular suit and haircut, you could easily pass for normal. I have a contract. Okay. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot the clown making a gesture, but you didn't catch it what it was. Douglas clears his throat. Plus, well, it's quite the life, you know. Free room and board, travel around the world. And you meet such interesting people. Talk to you later, Douglas. Sus. Oh. This man is neatly dressed, though his suit is a bit threadbare and out of fashion. He's smoking a pipe and leafing through a magazine. When you stop to look at him, he nods amicably. <clears throat> There's a lady here with her head sticking out of a hole in a large metal box. She nods politely at you. Uh, hello. Hello there. Enjoying the carnival? Well, it's interesting. She smiles slightly. Yes, I'm sure it is. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. Uh, what's your name? 
I'm Janet. And you? I'm Jessie. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jessie. Why are you in a box? That's a rather personal question, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I'm only teasing you, dear. Would you like to see inside? Uh, sure. Janet whistles to signal the clown, and he muzzies over. He unlocks the door to the front of the box and throws it open with a theatrical flourish. Inside, instead of Janet's body, you see a tangled, complicated assortment of glass tubes and pipes. Trickling clockwork gears and pumps. Liquids of various colors, mostly red, slosh through the tubes. A large bellows near the top inflates, then begins to slowly deflate. What do you think? It's some kind of trick, right? You're folded up behind a mirror in there or something? No trick. The clown chuckles and walks around the back of the box. He opens the hatch and waves at you through it, and then saunters back to his place by the shelves. Um... It's, is it amazing or horrifying? I mean, we know it's horrifying, but something tells me if we say it's amazing, we might get a different response. Hmm. 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 I'm say it's amazing. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. It's certainly educational. I imagine the larger tank on the left is my stomach. If you'd like to see what I had for lunch today. Examine the workings. Oh, hello. We got a perk. You watch the various liquids slosh around their tanks and pipes for a minute. Weird, gross, but indeed educational. How did this happen? Were you in some kind of terrible accident? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about that. Of course. Sorry. It must be a painful memory. Her calmly composed face creases into a very slight grimace as she shoots a sidelong glance at the clown. Yes. Well, it was nice to meet you. Good luck, Jessie. Bruh. This fucking guy. Oops. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted. I want to talk to him. Ask a question. Hmm. What's with the weird mirrors? Aren't they a riot? That's what we call an optical illusion, as I understand it. It has to do with the way the light reflects off of them. I'm 100% sure what I saw can't be explained by the reflection of light. <laughs> no telling what you might see if you look too long. Uh-huh. Okay, what about the people? About these, uh, people. You mean the freaks? Ain't they a scream? The one with the giant eyeball head is my favorite. Nice, quiet fella. Uh-huh. If you have questions about the other two, feel free to ask them personally. I wouldn't want to be telling tales out of school since the eye guy can't talk though you can ask me about him if you want okay what can you tell me about him not much i'm afraid to be honest he joined us oh about a year ago amoeba little fuss oh meeb maybe a little less me oh, is that supposed to say maybe? Bro, I was like, what? Um, okay. Where did he come from? No idea. Weird, ain't it? You'd think a fella looks like that. You'd have read about him in the papers, right? Well, yeah. Sure is mysterious. How to get like that? Couldn't tell ya. I bet you've got a theory at least. Hint, well, maybe he saw something no human fella should ever see. Okay. Why is he locked to his chair? Ah, you noticed that, did you? Real shame, that is. Fella's a bit unpredictable. Has a violent spell once in a while. Gosh. Don't you worry about none of that. I'm keeping an eye on him. Heh. <laughs> Sus. Okay. What well, can you tell me about these eggs? 
That's a traditional clown thing. There's a place card there next to him that explains it in detail. Don't get too close, please. They're fragile. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I, they are sus. Okay. Well, it looks like we can't do all that much here. So I guess we'll have to be back. Hmm. 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 Alright, let's let's go. Um okay, we can go to the concave, the old mission. Let's check out the old mission. And then I'm gonna go pee soon and take take a pee break. Because I must I must pee. Check this out first though. Hmm. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> mm. An empty relic case with a spot for a skull. Okay, Miss Nun. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down. Okay, what happened? Our holy relics. The saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? To start with, take a deep breath and try to calm down, okay? What's your name? I'm, I'm Sister Mary. My name is Jessie. Now, what's this about saints? Our missions, er mission is to protect three sacred relics i'm the relic keeper it's my specific job to look after them wait do they call you memento Me she roll she shows you the ruler she keeps tucked in her sleeve no they do not okay sorry okay so what happened the saints oh it's too horrible they just they came to life somehow they came out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if that weren't... Rec oh, yeah. Yes, and if they aren't recovered before the cardinal gets here, I'll be in so much trouble. Uh-oh, so how much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so probably not all that urgent. But still! <laughs> Alright, I'll get them back for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. Are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous, too. Uh, I mean, probably. But if black magic brought them back to life, that's pro that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh, dear. The Cardinal is going to want to have a very long talk about this. But go ahead and do what I'm you must, I suppose. <laughs> that's funny. Thanks. Okay. Empty coffin. Kick him. Yes. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's do that. And then we'll just slowly work on them. Dude, the fork though. The fork is so OP. They can't hurt me at all. We'll just go through and cut them down. Ha ha ha. Nice. <laughs> uh. That guy. And then this one. Pew. 
I love when they try to attack me because they can't. <laughs> yes, gotta hit him with the beans and the fork. <laughs> ha. Oh. I got you. Boom. Got him. <laughs> What a spoon. Listen closely. It doesn't seem right. It sounds like gibberish. Oh. At the center of the pile, you unearth, unskull, a shiny black stone. It makes more noise. Okay. Oh, wait. Whispering stone. Oh. What happens with the stone? Listen to it. This rock is really whispering up a storm. It's in some weird dialect you can barely understand, though. Wait, no, it's just a thick accent is all. Ah, yes. You listen carefully to the stone. Over the course of a few minutes, it whispers resolve into comprehensible English. The stuff on the stone is whispering turns out to be pretty boring. It's mostly just trivia about the geology of Tennessee. Meaningless to you, unless you're planning a spelunking trip soon. Oh well, at least you can understand the accent now. <laughs> okay. The skull whispers some dark mountain secrets to you, which we can't print here because your switch would catch fire. <laughs> okay. Whisper to them. Yes, I can whisper to them now. Okay. Oh, was that a pentagram? It's a plaque. Here lies Saint Beefus. <laughs> After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy, it just kind of flopped around a bunch. <laughs> they had to enter him in a big sar stone sarcophagus to put a stop to it. Oh my god. Bitch. I'm gonna smoke. That is hilarious. Fuck, game of the year. Probably Animal Crossing. But honestly, I love this game too. And I love um, Swords of Ditto. But I think both of those have been out for longer than just this year. So since Animal Crossing like came out in 2020, I'm gonna say Animal Crossing. Yeah. Must reload. I love the music of this game. Now, I would probably have um, Breath of the Wild on that list if I, I had actually played it yet, but I have not played it yet. So, there you go. Also, I kind of want to get Pokemon because it looks fun and it looks like Sword and Shield have a lot of really cute Pokemon in them, but I think I would get Shield because it's got the color, I like the color scheme better because there's not that much difference besides like some of the colors of the Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> do it. Animal Crossing is so fun. Chuckles just started playing. I don't know if he's still in here, but Chuckles said he started playing it. And yeah, it's really fun. Um, maybe on Saturday when we stream with Katie, uh, we can do like everyone come join us. We can do like a party or something. You guys can come drop off stuff for Katie or whatever. We can do stuff like that. We can do like a trade, a trade or something. Have everyone have like a trade post. And people can come drop stuff off and pick stuff up if they want it. That would be fun. But yeah. Um, Nine Tails, probably. Because so cute.
we'll have to limit the amount of people that join. We'll do like five. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a pee break really quick. So go get yourself a snack right now. I will be back in like two minutes. Okay? Be right back. I'm going to pee. Go grab a snack. Go pee yourself. Be right back. <laughs> Gotta switch over. Okay, and check out check out my new little pee break graphic. Check it out. I'm back with water. I need more treats for the pops because they're like out of actual snackies in here. So I thought I would grab them. So. Good job, pops. Cute puppies. Come here. Oh, oh, get, get, get off. What the fuck, puppy? You literally made me go into another room. God damn it. <sighs> so, no, no, you've had enough. You've had enough, and now I'm just putting it into the drawer. No, you don't get more. You don't get more. No. 
So I'm just putting a handful into the puppy jar. So then I don't have to get more. This. No. 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 No more. You had enough. No more. I'm done. No more. I'm done. All done. All done. All done. No more. No more. All done. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I think like I think that's smart, Chuckles. I think it's good to take care of yourself first before you want to have to deal with another person. <laughs> okay, let me read this. Um, Here lies Santa Cordata. Cord... Cordata. Yep, Cordata. She was drawn and quartered by Hederix. Wait. Heretics. Her heretics. Is that how you say that? I'm tired. <laughs> and then the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. The dismemberment was so effective that nobody was able to get her body to stay together even after she was just bones. Spooky. <laughs> exactly, Chuckles. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I love this game. Um, I love Portia. I love Swords of Ditto. I love Sims. I love Zelda. Any of the Zeldas, really. Oh. Yes, investigate. A burned scroll. Yes, what is that? Examine. The scroll is in bad shape, and you can't really make out anything new, but you're convinced this must be another clue to the whereabouts of the necromancer. Nice. Necromancer journal. Hmm. You found a cryptic note about hell cow energy. The necromancer's lair must be somewhere near a powerful source of it, but you don't know where such a source is. Rats. Okay. Hmm. The final one. Here lies Saint Pope. He was excommunicated for impersonating a pope. But there was some kind of bureaucratic issue, so they weren't able to unbeify him. <laughs> That's funny. I do not play League, but my boyfriend does. My boyfriend likes League. Don't ask me who he mains. I don't know. Jeez, mm -mm. they really knew how to build heavy stone sarcophaguses back in the day. Open it. You grunt and strain and force the heavy stone sarcophagus lid open. There's a skeleton inside. Holy crap. His bones are huge. Fortunately, he appears to be asleep. Wake him. We must fire. Oh, Jesus. Well, shit. I'm going to up my defense here. And then... Four to seven? Okay, my fork is useless. This one. That's the one. Oh, God. Oh, whew. Okay, well, at least he can't hurt me still. Hell yeah. Okay. Whew. Whew, good. <laughs> uh, thought that would be a little bit more difficult than it was. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Anything else in here that I should check out before I leave? Okay. This is the room Puppels walked me into. Oh, I can reassemble it in two ways. Okay, you're pretty sure you got the bones assembled correctly. <clears throat> nope. At the very last minute, the bones fly apart. Seems like you all you accomplished was making them angry. <laughs> oh. Well, at least that will do damage. 
All right, let's start with 13 cold to all of them. That hurts a little bit. Oh shit, oh, okay, whew. At least they can't really hurt me. Okay, well, that's fun. Let's, uh, let's do this. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> She'll hit him and then I'll hit him. I think that's the that's the way. We'll tag team him. Eh, I don't know. I like playing these games. I do want to play Little Nightmares also. It looks really fun and Katie said it's good. So if Katie likes it, then I will probably also like it. Because we are the same person. So. <laughs> Fuck. The fact that they're regenerating is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck. Get rid of that one. <sighs> okay, we'll just double team them again. That's how we'll get them. We'll just take them down one at a time. <laughs> Katie streams on Twitch. She streams on Twitch if you want to check her out. Um, I retweeted her not that many days ago. So if you go follow her Twitter, she will probably update you guys on there. Is what I'm assuming. <laughs> okay, we'll get this guy next. Ooh, so close. Pew. I got him. A oh, hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad because like... I'm not, I don't stream super often, but now she can stream and you guys can like watch her streams and we can do like, that works out so nicely, doesn't it? Okay, anything else in this room? Anything else? No, okay. We got this one all done. Now this room. I am a Pope, seriously. LMAO, this fucking guy. St. Pope stands be a fifth. Be be typically behind the dais. <laughs> he just keeps doing his pope gestures, ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? The longer you watch him, the more he gets on your nerves. Insult him. You learn a to you unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush, and a sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. <laughs> Saint Pope's eyes narrow. Looks like you finally managed to make him mad enough to fight you. Nice. I rage sometimes. Ah! 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 What, are you? what is this? All right, start with that. All right, shoot that guy. Oh, you actually kind of hurt me. Alright, taking you out first. Fuck everything else. You are the target. What the hell, homie? Okay, we'll just shoot you then. She can take care of those guys. We'll take care of these guys. No, fuck you. No! Oh! This is... I hate you. Die. You know what? Shoot him. Kill him. Now he can't regen. That is rude. Bruh. The fuck? Okay. At least I can get rid of these guys easy, but like, what the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Pew. Got him. Ah. <sighs> Um, dating apps are for hookups if you use them for hookups. Like, I met my boyfriend on a dating app, so... I mean, you just have to be really upfront and blunt about what you are wanting. And just have boundaries with people, and yeah. That's pretty much it. You just have to, like, 
explain to people what you want. And there you go. It's still empty. Interesting. Okay. Up back upstairs since we did it. Um, okay. Return the skull and stuff. Okay. Oh, what is that? A, a something sensor? Okay, what? Don't worry about it, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. A fake Pope hat. Nice. Mm, okay. Interesting. Lol. Okay. Where to next? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Um, just because I might have it specifically easy on dating apps because I'm cute doesn't mean men have a harder time necessarily because cute men have just as easy of a time on dating apps as I do. So it's really just about the effort you're putting into it and the realistic goals that you are setting for yourself. If you are looking for someone who is completely out of your league and you're expecting that you're going to get a bunch of responses from people like that, you're probably not. Um, so it's just about being realistic, you know? Um, okay, wait, I want to go check out one of the stores. The store, the store, the store. Ha, here we go. That is what I want to pull. I can't. I don't have fortune. God damn it. <sighs> Like, also, what I find nice about dating apps is it's a really good way to, like, weed out people who are just superficial or who actually want to get to know you. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think if, um, you know, if you're on a dating app and you're only getting a few people or whatever, then those are probably, like, it, you don't want people who do not want you, regardless of if it's on a dating app or other places. People are just a lot more honest on dating apps about that. Um, so you kind of cut past that little section of things, you know? Um, people might be afraid to say something in real life, but on a dating app, they can just not say anything and it works out just as well. So if anything, just, Focus on people that do want you. Don't focus on people that don't want you. You know? Like, it's just about having a positive mindset. Um, and if you are constantly thinking about people that don't want you, yeah, you're going to be unhappy. But, like, why would you focus your time on that? <laughs> it makes no sense. What do you mean, what are my thoughts on VTubers? I think I've been very, very clear on my thoughts on VTubers. I love them. What do you mean? I need... I want... Shoot. <sighs> hmm. I wanted to see if... Maybe they would be selling a book. Like, so I could get more spells or something. <laughs> uh... Well, no one will want you with that attitude. That's for damn sure. Like, what do you mean? Like, do you know every person on the planet? No, you don't. So you actually don't know that no one wants you. You're just being a bitter little crybaby because people wanting you isn't, like, super easy. And you have to, like, actually put work in. So does everyone. So do I. 
amazingly. Like, hot people still have to put effort into cultivating relationships. It's not just, like, super easy because it, you have a bunch of options. That doesn't make things easier. It just means you have more problems. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I hate when people complain about that because it's, like... you don't just go out and look for more people if no one in your circle of people that you know want to be with you then like go meet new people maybe <laughs> like <laughs> just go put yourself out there and if it doesn't work the first time do it again and then keep doing it until it does work like things don't just come easy you have to actually fucking work for them jeez like Anyway, Cactus Bill is here. Um, yeah, how the fuck did you get here, Cactus Bill? You're in a pot. Okay, well, I gotta admit, I got a little envious when I saw you leave Boring Springs, and I figured I'd hitch a ride out west to see what I could see. And just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. There sure is a lot of both of those. Hey, nice pot. Thank you kindly. So what's new? Well, to be honest, that's, or what's new is a profound sense of longing and loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it is what it is. I was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out there, or failing that, a normal human lady looking to marry a cactus. Oh, wow, look at that. The fucking cactus is doing more. The cactus went out of town to look for a fucking girlfriend. Why can't you do that? Go on Tinder. Put a little effort in. Put in your bio. Hey, I'm looking for a fucking waifu. Not a, not a hookup. I don't want a hookup. I want to actually get to know someone and date you. Like, literally, just put that in your fucking bio and you're not going to get people that just want to hook up. You're going to get people that actually want to date. Like, oh my god, it's actually that simple? <laughs> Like, ugh. Come on, be better than the cactus, guys. No luck? Not yet. Of course, I'm getting around Getting around is a bit of a challenge. But as cactuses live a long time, I'm sure I'll meet somebody. Someday. See, the cactus is staying positive. Why can't you stay positive? Stay positive like the cactus. Even if you aren't, like, actually positive, just, like, keep telling yourself it. Even if you don't believe it. And eventually, you will believe it. It's about mind over matter, okay? You actually can convince yourself of shit. You can convince yourself of a lot of things. Like, that you're super attractive, even if you don't actually believe that. If you just keep telling yourself you're super attractive, instead of every time you look in the mirror and being like, Ugh, I'm ugly. Don't say that. Be like, no, I'm not ugly. I'm actually kind of cute. Oh, here's a good thing about my face. Like, do that instead, and you're gonna be a lot more confident, and then just do that with, like, everything. Okay? Do that with everything. It will... Yeah, fake it till you make it, basically. Like, not in, like, the sense of, like, be a fake doctor or whatever, but, like, <laughs> fake your confidence until you actually gain some because it, 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 it's a skill and you can practice it and, like, you know, like, yeah, you can practice. Yes, flaunting money will just attract gold diggers. So don't do that. <laughs> like, it's fine if you want to be, like, upfront about your financial situation, but also, like, if all you're doing is talking about how you can buy someone something and all you're doing is buying their love, it, you're not going to end up bad path. Don't, go, don't, don't. Don't do that path. That's a, not a good path. Not a good path. <laughs> but, like, you would be shocked what others believe, okay? I'm going to tell you a story about when I was a kid. And this is a really good example. It's not about, like, confidence or anything, but it's about, like, you'd be shocked what fucking people will buy if you just, like, put a, put a fucking smile on and, like, sell that shit. Um... <laughs> so, um, I have a family member who's, like, kind of distant. We don't see them that often. They're, like, older. It was, it's, like, grandpa or something. I don't remember. Anyway, 
he uh, came by, like, after Christmas one time to, like, give us presents. And I was, like, probably, I was, like, 10 or 11 or something, like, older. Not, like, super old, but, like, I was not, like, a little kid, you know? And so... Um, the presents he gave us were, like, obvious, like, you got them from, like, a Walgreens or something like that. Like, very last minute, like, didn't really think about it type of gifts. Um, and so the gift he got me was this fucking, like, a dancing moose thing that was, like, Christmas themed. And it was just, like, the weirdest fucking thing ever. Um, but I didn't want to be rude, right? So, because, like, obviously he was very excited to give it to me. So I was just, like thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Like, I really appreciate it. And I literally sold that shit so well. My fucking parents believed that I genuinely liked it. And they were like dumbfounded. They were just like, why the fuck would you give this to like our, tw our 10 year old daughter? That's so weird. Um, <laughs> but like I, my parents, like after he left and stuff, my parents like pulled me aside and were just like, do you, do you actually like it? Wait, do you actually like do you like the stuffed moose? And I was like, fuck no, what is this? This is so weird, what? I was lying, I just wouldn't want to be mean. <laughs> but they straight up thought that I liked it. So if you just commit, okay? It's like acting, you know? Um, if you don't feel like you yourself is confident enough, Think of a fucking character. Don't, like, pretend to be that character because that gets cringy really quick, you know? But, um, you know, don't be, like, running around like Naruto and stuff. But, like, <laughs> emulate them in the sense of, like, put yourself into their mindset, you know? Like, if you're nervous about doing something, just be like, okay, well, I mean, fucking... I don't know, an example. This character was strong enough to go up against this fucking giant ass thing with like, you know, they were able to do that. So like, I can do this. It's not that big of a deal. You know, uh, just, just kind of hype yourself up, you know, like be your own wingman, be your own hype man. It's beneficial. And that way you don't have to rely on other people to do it for you. You know? Uh, I mean, people want successful people. You don't want to date a fucking loser who is going to drag you down. You want to be with someone who will lift you up. That's just kind of human nature unless you're the type of person that desperately wants to take care of someone but that's not really super healthy so don't do that <laughs> uh hey alvin maybe it's not like you young guys these days but maybe it's like you have archaic ways of thinking and it's kind of not really realistic or what anyone wants anymore <laughs> i don't think most women are dating and their first thought is like, hmm, who can pay for my children? Like, uh, no, I don't really think that's the thing that most people even fucking care about. That's something that you figure out once you're, like, married and you're in your career more and you guys have, like, become more financially stable. Like, this is not the 80s. We are not having, like, kids super early. Like, that stuff's kind of died off a little bit. If you've looked at the statistics, but like <laughs> the younger generations are just not getting like into relationships as seriously as soon as the previous generations did. Um, so you giving us advice about how to date based on your experience dating like 20 years ago or whatever doesn't really make sense. So, <laughs> you know, like it's um don't worry cactus i'll help you but like you know what i mean like i think women just want someone who's going to be nice to them respect them not drag them down and like not cheat like 
I think it's pretty simple, actually. Like, have similar interests, get along with them, get along with the people they care about, ha be able to have a good time together, you know? Like, that's, that's what's important. Oh, thank you, John. The Pops. The Pops will enjoy. Oh, the Pops. Oh, the Pops. Uh, I wouldn't really say that's true. I think most people are focused. Don't sit on that. No, don't sit on that. Um, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, come, come on. Come on, you can do it, Marbles. There you go, buddy. Um, but no, I don't really think that's the issue. Uh, I think you guys are focused too much on, like, the money aspect of dating because, um, people just want to date people that are within their own financial bracket. Like, you don't need to be, like, super fucking successful, but you have to be at the same playing level as your significant other. For the most part, unless you're in a type of relationship where you've both agreed that that's okay to not have that. But for the most part, to not have money be an issue in a relationship, you guys just have to be, like, at a similar area, okay? Um, obviously, if both of you are really struggling, it's going to be an issue still. But, like, it's going to be equally an issue, not like one of you is having the issue and the other one is not at all, you know? But, yeah, I think you guys are putting too much energy into, like, how much money you have that's kind of like sad actually i'm kind of sad for you guys that should be more focused on like how you guys connect on like a personal level like do you guys have the same interests do you have like because like if you really love someone you don't need any money to take them out like you can just hang out at your house or like go to the fucking park and like have a sandwich or like get a coffee you know like it's doesn't have to be expensive you don't need to be taking people on extravagant fucking dates for you to have success in your love life like it just you know that um yeah yeah that's that's sad that's sad focus less on money and you will have more success i think because yeah that that is sad. I'm I'm sad now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let them pop out. I don't want you guys to feel like you have to like pay for people's affection because you don't. <laughs> Especially if you're like in a relationship with them, you know? you can um you, if you have like a good a good relationship and you guys really enjoy each other's time you can sit and talk and literally do nothing else but talk and you know what doesn't do anything <laughs> mm. Okay, fine. <sighs> yes, there has to be at least one therapy. <laughs> therapy session. Um, I want to send a postcard. Yes. Well, see, that's why dating online could be really nice because you can put that in, like, your Tinder bio or something, you know? And there's a lot of girls that also have autism. I know that that's, like, debated, but you're stupid if you're debating that. Um, and also people that, like, won't have any issue with it. But I'm saying that as in, like, there are people that can relate to you on that issue. And you just... You won't know until you find the person, and when you find the person, you'll be like, oh my god, I was so stupid for thinking this person doesn't exist, but until you find that person, it's really hard to conceptualize that that person is out there, so, like, I get it, but you just have to, like, try, you know? Um, 
like just keep trying well light years away could be closer than you think it is oh kidnapping brining victims oh wait i got them wait where are they i got them though oh pickle factory remains oh okay i got them nice <laughs> notice how I like, killed everyone and didn't capture anyone I just murdered everybody all the jail cells are empty <laughs> well hot dogs yeah and I mean like meeting physically right now is hard which is another reason why online dating can be a really good way to start a relationship because Again, like, if you're talking to someone online, you're not as focused, or at least I feel like it's a lot less focused on how someone looks, and it it, it kind of lets your personality shine a lot more. So, I feel like as long as you're honest and upfront with people and just, like, you know, like, rip that band-aid off because they're a stranger, so being super upfront and honest with them, like what's the risk they're gonna like deny you and then you're gonna go back to how it was like a day before when you didn't know they existed like it's not the end of the world so you just have to kind of keep throwing yourself out there and eventually you will find the right person um also if you just like put your fishing line in the water or whatever like make a profile or like put it out there that you're looking for someone and then you just kind of focus on yourself usually I feel like that's the time when you find someone is when you're really like working on yourself and thriving in that sense because people like being around people that are having a good time so you know like yeah But you have to keep trying. Like, you can't just give up when you fail the first few times. Like, you just have to keep trying. It's not going to be instantaneous. I mean, it might. You might get lucky. But, like, it'll probably take a while. So just, like, put it out there. Leave it. Come back to it every once in a while. Check it out. See how it goes. You know? Like, you just got to... Keep trying. This Red Dead update hit is different. I know, right? Um, all right. Yes. The tanner that moved in next door has been letting me use some of his cast off leather to adulterate, uh, embellish my sausages interesting okay um all right let's let's get some hot dogs got one of each <laughs> i will tell you if someone likes you your money your looks and your housing situation doesn't matter um, attitude, if you're just constantly shitting on yourself and like, oh, woe is me. Why would nobody date me? Oh, I'm so terrible. Yeah, no one's gonna fucking date you. Like, why the fuck would anyone want to be around that? Would you want to be around that? Probably not. Do you want to be around someone who's constantly crying and being, oh, woe is me all the fucking time? No, no one wants that. You want to be around someone who's like, got shit going on in their life, you know? Honey, most porn stars are fully taken. I know very few porn stars that are single. I'm sorry to break it to you. You're you're stupid for thinking they might be single. <laughs> They're just polygamists or, you know, in open relationships and have different boundaries than you do. Um but yeah, like you just Like, it's fine to be upset, but to be constantly vocalizing how upset you are and then also not doing anything about it is frustrating for people to be around. So, 
if you want to attract a girlfriend, um, talk about things that are positive and not constantly negative. It's fine to also talk about negative stuff, but like when you're getting to know someone and you're first getting to meet them, like <laughs> you don't want all of their association with you to be negative. You want it to be positive. So start with that, work up to the negative stuff. And then eventually when you guys have a closer relationship, uh, you gotta, you gotta work up to that. Like once, once you're, closer and you have that bond and you can trust each other because trust is built you can't just like instantly trust someone um once you do have that trust built up then you can like start telling them about the other stuff and like your insecurities and stuff and like you can still tell them about it it's just don't don't, don't let that be all you talk about because that's aggravating for anyone you know well, if you want to get all crybaby about the fact that I said you're stupid, then yeah, you are stupid. And I do mean that in an offensive way, not a joking way like I meant it the previous comment. Okay? So, cry harder and uh, find a different stream to cry in because no one here gives a shit. Ah. <laughs> uh. I love when people are new here and then think I'm not gonna, like, call them stupid. Like, many people are stupid. I'm stupid a lot of the time. Don't get so upset at being called stupid. Just embrace your stupidity and move on from it. <laughs> what is a sharpening stroop? Strop? Stroop? Hmm. I... What? Is this? Huh. What the heck? Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is. Ooh. Nice. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't think I need any of that right now. But yeah. Well, I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about the guy crying about the fact that I called him stupid. Okay, we got a few slots still available. Nice. <laughs> I wonder what the other shops will be. Me. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Not yet. Sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. I meant to talk to the partner. What should we do next? Oh, I guess we could do that. Okay. Fuck. See, people take me being direct and blunt about stuff as, like, being upset. Or hard. But honestly, you guys just need to toughen the fuck up. Because... <laughs> Yeah, like, damn. I really cannot relate to these sensitive ass people. And I'm not talking about you guys specifically at this point. I'm talking about just people in general that get super offended by stuff. Cannot relate. <laughs> A piece of leather used to sharpen a blade. Oh. I didn't know you could sharpen a blade like that. Huh. Interesting. It is how you grow. Um, I have found... I have used various tactics over the years of trying to get my point across to people. I've tried being nice. I've tried being super, like... I don't know, like, persuasive with it or whatever. But I have found just being blunt and direct and to the point and kind of mean, I guess, is the best way to get it across because people listen. We found... Oh! The hideout. Garbanzo. Lol. Okay, we'll, we'll check that out later. 
<sighs> I know, right? Like, I just... Yes. You know, we're right about in the middle of a territory back when the cows came home. This is right about where the first reports like grounds. Oh. Okay. Cool. Thanks for the new location, bitch. Thank you. Oh. Okay, now what are we stuck on? Oh, jelly beans. Yes. Can I have a jelly bean? Please. Okay, where'd you get them? Ah, Roy's Bean House of Justice and Jelly Beans. All right. Why are you asleep? That bitch. Oh, it's a cliff. <clears throat> Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Oh wait, he's he's got an accent. Hold up. <clears throat> hmm. Howdy, boss. Howdy, Smee. Stuck again. Yep, got ourselves in one hell of a cra canyon. Oh, wait. <laughs> yep, got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across. And no materials for bri for bridge building. I got, eh. Any ideas? <laughs> There's an old man town up north called Breadwood. They opened a lumber camp after the mines dried up. If you can fix... A deal with them for the lumber we need. I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? Smee marks the location of the Breadwood camp on your map. Of course, anything you can find to help build a bridge is fine by me, but that seems like the simplest option. Okay. Thank you, Smee. Thank you. Good to know. Wee. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Let's check this out. Uh oh. Hmm. A grim looking cowboy rides up and blocks your path. Hold it! This area is full of cows. And I can't let you go any further. It ain't safe for regular folks. Y'all go ahead and turn back now. Well, thanks for the warning, but what if I refuse? I'll use force if I gotta. You're gonna ensure my safety by beating me up? I reckon the conundrum, but that's the times we're living in. Run past with Dark Horse. What's that? That cowboy turns to look and your horse takes cue to make tracks. <laughs> oh shit. Um, well, that doesn't look good. The only part of this shed that didn't burn was the part this horseshoe was attached to. Okay, cool. Lucky horseshoe. Um, it's a portal to hell. You hear ominous mooing. This sure seems like a powerful source of hell cow energy. Ah, ringing this bell will attract the attention of at least one inferior cow. Should we fight one? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, attack. It's gonna fucking destroy me. Ah, okay. I'm gonna up my armor. Just keep attacking it with this guy. Ooh! Got him. Yeah. Dude, thank God for this fork, though. Hell yeah. Mm. Got him. Oh, tainted milk. You pull some cows from their home dimension and mercilessly slaughter them, you monster. Ha <laughs> just kidding. They're super evil. <laughs> um... Susie carves another t notch in the stock of her rifle. <laughs> Cow hate flashes in her eyes. Her resolve intensifies. Susie has become stronger. Oh, shit, really? Ooh. 
Susie gets stronger? Oh my god. Mm. Let's do another one, because I, I think I can do them pretty decently, honestly. Wow. Mm-hmm. Ooh! Ooh! Disable it for a round? Hell yeah. Epic. Alright, well that worked well. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got them cows. Mm. Yes, I think this is a multiverse situation or something. Oh, she didn't get stronger that time. Hmm. You prep your skinning knife, but all useful hide bursts into flame and withers away before you get a chance to collect anything. Susie carves another notch in the stock of a rifle. Okay, well, I guess not every time there, but... You know. Alright. I guess we can check this place out now. Hmm. Another place. We'll check out the other place later, though. I was wondering how we upgraded her. Hmm. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. A cave. All purpose beans! Perfect. Oh, more beans. You don't have the foggiest idea how this oven works. Uh, I don't have master cookery. Beans illustrated. Hold up. <laughs> Advanced bean dishes. Oh, I have master cookery now. Aha. Cook something simple. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that one. Huh. I guess we'll do one of each if I can. Aw. I don't have any more beans. Ooh. Mine. Bean. Can I can I cook some bean iron? Bean iron. Yes. Ooh. <gasps> Fuck yeah. Um. Let's do this. A bean iron badge. <gasps> oh my god, we got a bean iron badge. Wait, this is, was just a bean cave. Oh, garbanzo. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> okay, what's this? <laughs> um, an oasis. Ah. A mirage, I see. As you near it, you discover that you've been fooled. It wasn't an oasis at all. A black stone cow monolith. Oh shit, let's see how we do against this. Oh shit. <laughs> Bruh? Oh, she becomes stronger, hell yeah. Mm. Yes, Susie. Ah, oh, you found another place. Thank you. Okay. Another fort. I see. Use binoculars. Ooh, another place. Are you guys playing Dungeons and Dragons right now? Oh. Cool. Let's we'll talk to them later. Aw. How, wait, how much do I... Oh, that's not what I meant. Upgrades. Ooh! I can do upgrades. Ooh, yes. Yes, okay. Sorry, I wanted to upgrade that so I could read these. <laughs> yes! No. Oh. Skeletal buddy. Oh, fuck yes. 
Read it. Okay, the words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms burrow into your bones and then whisper stuff to you about cool things you can do with other people's bones. You got a perk, raise skeletal buddy. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a poof of black smoke. You don't feel so well. Oh shit, my hair instantly loses all of its color. I got white hair now. Honestly, that's just cool though. <laughs> Uh. Going down any type of rabbit hole where the entire um, thought process is focused on the negative aspects of things is never, ever I'm gonna put you in the right direction okay it's it's not helpful there are other groups of people that preach the same if not better versions of the same thing however they're not going to be constantly telling you that life has got it out for you and you're going to fail no matter what you do that's not going to help those type of people don't help <laughs> hmm Cool. We got a badge. Ooh! The liquid in the spittoon is bright yellow. I feel like that's all that needs to be said about it. Look closer. I'll never understand you. Alright, well, you crouch down next to the spittoon. From the nauseatingly sweet stench coming off of it, it appears that these nerds haven't been using it as a makeshift urinal, as you might have suspected, but rather they're using bright yellow lemon-lime soda-flavored chewing tobacco. Unless... Unless, well, another possibility is that they have been using it as a urinal, and they're all extremely diabetic, which, now that I think about it, is a real possibility. In fact, it is probable that both of these things are true. Okay, searching it. Really? You're going to put your hands in the nerd's piss and or spit bucket? Just gonna dive right in there, huh? Just gonna splish splash around in that sticky yellow broth of spit and pee with no restraint whatsoever? I sure am. With fanfare of sad trombones and a chorus of angels retching, a sword arises out of the spittoon, held aloft by a wet, bedraggled, and miserable-looking woman's arm. Since you're already kneeling, the arm wastes no time before tapping you on both shoulders with the sword, splashing your clothes with yellow slime, and officially declaring you Jessie Mayfield, Queen of Filth. Congratulations! The sword clatters to the floor as the hand drops it with the shutter and withdraws into the spittoon. <laughs> Black scab scalibur Black scalibur Long live the queen Hell yes <laughs> uh, No Alpha beta shit is dumb and gay They just do that So they can convince themselves That being an asshole to women Is will like be any type of beneficial when really it's not it never has been it never will be and those chads or alpha guys are not being assholes to women they are being assholes to you they are nice to the women that's why the women like them <laughs> like uh, they just use that as an excuse when actually they're just fucking bitter and want to be mad at women because they don't want to fuck them like that's all that's really happening there there's no actual credence to it because listen if there's beta and alpha male there's beta and alpha women too so I, what's the problem again that just goes back to like if you want someone that's out of your fucking range like out of your league then um you're probably gonna be disappointed just hate to break it to you like I wouldn't try to go date like George Clooney like he's out of my league okay like it's just a fact of life you know there's some people you can't get I can't get Megan Fox you can't get Megan Fox none of us can get Megan Fox okay it's just how it goes so we gotta settle for a Megan Fox lookalike you know like How the cookie crumbles. Okay. Hello. Hello, guitar man. 
Nah, I mean, I like games. That's why I hang out with these guys. But I've gotten bored of these strategy war games. I want something different. Like what? Well, I like playing the guitar, so I was thinking some kind of guitar game. Where you pretend you're in a band and you have to hit the right chords. That sounds hard, if you don't already know how to play guitar. Yeah, I thought of making it a real simplified version of a guitar. But then it wouldn't be much fun for me. I have an idea. Instead of pretending to play in a band, why don't you join an actual band and play guitar for real? I know a place that's looking for talent. Huh, put my guitar skills to actual use? That's not a bad idea. Okay, cool. It's the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater. Tell him I sent you. Thanks a bunch. I'll head out right now. Godspeed, guitar man. <laughs> um, uh, you're famous, or you're super fucking rich, or they just are not interested in you, or you just have completely incompatible personalities. That's how I would describe out of your league. Like... Elon Musk, not the most attractive guy ever. He's still out of my league. Because <laughs> he's rich and famous as fuck. So, you know, that's how. Hell yeah. Networking. <laughs> this guy is excitedly and repeatedly describing his favorite kinetoscope reel. Okay. Howdy, I'm Ernie. Oh, man. You haven't seen the Dixon experimental sound film yet? It's amazing. What's it about? Well, there's two guys dancing while a third guy plays a violin into a huge cone. You can actually hear the violin. It's so great. And then a fourth guy walks in. What does he do? Nothing. That's when it ends. Sounds pretty avant-garde. How's the game going? Pretty good. We're on a real winning streak. If we'd been... It if we'd been in charge of the army when the real war happened, things might have gone a lot differently. Uh, probably the real war has a, was a lot more unbalanced in terms of unit alignments. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay. Mom, and, Mom made Rufus stop drinking that brand of soda after he didn't sleep for four days and started yammering about putting our cat in a box to see if it was alive or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Hmm. Yes, education level is another good one. Thank you. That was a good one. Okay. Hi, I'm Buddy. Oh, Buddy. Buddy. Oh, wait. The pops left me, didn't they? They only come when I have snacks for them. So, how do you like this game? It's pretty good. I prefer the science fiction version, though. What's that like? It's real interesting. It has vehicles that move without horses, and the guns that fire more than once before reloading. Wow, that sounds really... Imba? I don't know what Imba is. There's being blunt, and then there's being a complete bitch. Aw, that's so cute that you think I'm being a complete bitch. Trust me. This is not even close to as mean as I can be. This is not even entering into sort of bitch mode. This is me completely chill and actually being kind of nice, okay? I could choose to tear into you and destroy your entire life and make you cry for the rest of the day. But I choose to not do that. And that makes me not a bitch. It's just about your perspective, and I'm sorry that you're stuck in the perspective that I'm a bitch because I said that you're stupid for asking if porn stars are mostly single or not, because that should be really obvious. Who is the most sought-after group of people to fuck porn stars? And as much as some of you are like, I would never date a porn star because other people see it, well, the majority of people don't see it the same way and also don't give a shit because they get to fuck the porn star so they all have fucking relationships i don't know why you thought that that was like a legitimate question to even ask so yeah you're stupid and now you're constantly crying about it in chat so who's really the bitch you're the bitch a little bitch a little crybaby bitch 
go home to your mommy, tell her you got made fun of by a porn star or something, and move on with your life, because no one else gives a shit, okay? But thank you for entertaining us, because it's kind of funny that you got so offended by me saying that you're stupid. Like, if anything else, it just gave me something to laugh about a little bit, but yeah, so thank you for that. <laughs> oh, I like how the science fiction version is just current times, though. That was a nice touch. I like that. Okay, how'd you get into this? I was in an in the actual war, made it out with only a few scars and a limp. Fortunately, on accident of it, wait, on accident of, oh, why did I read that as accident? <laughs> That's a count. On account of, I spent the whole thing hiding in a cave. When I heard about reenactments, I signed up to find out what I missed. <laughs> this is probably not a whole, like, a whole lot like what you missed. <laughs> yeah, better snacks for one. <laughs> LMAO. Yeah, Chuckles can go ahead and ban him if he wants, because he's just doing it for attention. But I enjoy roasting people a little bit. Or at least telling them that I'm not roasting them, because that wasn't really a roast. That was like a light saute. What is this guy doing? Do you have chips? Hiya, I'm Jeff. Do you like this game? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm working on some rule mods for naval combat so we can do older wars though, like conquistadors and vikings and stuff. Conquistadors versus vikings would be pretty cool. Man, I know, right? How'd you get into this? Well, I have a lot of time to read my job, at my job, and mostly I read a lot of history. So, when I saw a flyer for this historical reenactment thing, I thought it sounded interesting. <laughs> I thought it sounded interesting. They had already quit doing real reenactments by the time I joined, but this is pretty good too. And painting the figurines gives me something else to do at work. Okay. <clears throat> now these two. Hi, I'm Melvin. What's with the hat? We're doing historical reenactments. You're playing a tabletop war game. Well, okay, sure, but a historical one. Anyway, we only switched to this after we quit doing real reenactments. Why'd you quit? It was too much exercise. Also, somebody kept refusing to lie down when he got killed. You missed! <laughs> What's this game you're playing? Oh, you probably aren't familiar with this type of board game. It's a very specialized form of entertainment. What I mean is, you seem to be using Flintlock 4000 rules, but my brother's set didn't have cows. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we had to mod them in ourselves. Cool, huh? Can I play? Well, the rules are pretty complex. I don't think the others will want to stop to play a, t a teaching game. I already knew it. Wait, I already know it. My brother used to bug me to play with him all the time so he could test his strategies. Oh, great, yeah. We're short a player on the cow's side. Step up to the table and grab some dice. Alrighty. Play their little game. <laughs> um, okay, let's do this one. Oh. We're the cows. We are the cows! Oh shit, we are the cows. Okay, we'll take... Dang, this is the only thing I have? Alright. Well, I guess we'll use that. Oh. Must take out the mage. Hold up. I'm gonna take out the mage first. If I do that, then we should be good. Then they can't heal anyone. That's it. Oh, shit. No. Shit, it's just me! Ah! <laughs> no, I'm gonna get destroyed. No! Fuck! Oh, thank you! Um, this is called... Fuck, I died. Um, no, it's not called that. 
It's called um, West of Loathing. Hmm. Yes, play another one. All right, okay, I can do it this time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get that guy. That one. Start with you. That way you can't heal anyone, you little bitch. Bye. <clears throat> okay. We'll get rid of this guy first. <clears throat> Maybe. Fuck. I guess I could have healed my cow. Maybe I should have done that. Because this guy's going to beat me. Damn it. Fuck, we're going to have to do it again. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, start. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait, we can utterly destroy them? Oh. Well, let's start with that. <laughs> How did I miss that one? Silly me. Okay. Now we can do it. Now we got him. I can get him. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Got him. Nice. Nice. Mm. <laughs> no, we're doing a reenactment, so we are the cows. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. Let's do another one. Okay. This one. Oh shit. Okay. Who is the most powerful? Who should I take out? Well, there's the medic. Sniper. Hmm, you're the most powerful, so I'll take you out. Oh shit. Oh hell yeah, we got a, a mage. Oh, we're gonna destroy you guys this time. Oh shit. Hey! Rude! No! Fuck! Okay. Yes. Utterly destroy. Yes. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. No. <laughs> no! Okay. Goodbye. Now it's all him. Mwahaha. Oh shit! Fuck. No. <sighs> we can do it. Okay. One more time. Increase the target stat by one. Heal your target and then increase stats. Okay. I'm going to start by taking out the medic. Medic is gone. No more medic. That's helpful. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Shit. Okay, fuck. Let's get rid of this guy. This sniper is a problem. Or this guy who was throwing bombs. Actually, I think the sniper's the biggest problem. But that guy has no... Sniper. Sniper. Yes! Hell yes! Ah! Uh, got him! I knew the sniper was the one to take out. Fuck. Okay. Alright, now let's see if we can do this one. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Okay. Doesn't look like any of them are healers, at least. So, I'll take out one of the back ones. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, shit. No! Oh, fuck! These guys suck! <laughs> okay, um... Destroy that one, I guess? Damn, I'm gonna... These... Fuck! Yeah. God damn it. Dude, that one's hard! Oh. How do we do this one? Um... I guess I can heal myself. I'll heal myself next time. Okay, let's start destroying them. Eh. God damn it. These fuckers. Okay. <clears throat> See, if I do that, then I can't. I'm doing that. Okay. Take rid of that one. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Get rid of that. Oh, you gave me P. Oh, bitch. That was not helpful. Still in the running. Oh shit. Oh, I can give myself. Ooh. Hell yeah. Okay, cow, go get. Oh shit, you're gonna die. Okay, bye. Yeah, am I gonna be able to do this? Heal myself again. Okay. Ah, this is going to take a while. Ah. They're just going to keep bombing me, aren't they? And I'm going to just have to keep healing. And I don't have enough to keep healing. Oh my god, I'm going to die. They're going to get me. Ah. Fuck. <laughs> this is hard. Fuck! No! Damn it! Okay, I don't know how to do this one. Dang, that one's hard. Ooh, binoculars. Cool. Okay. Oh wait, actually I have stuff in, in my person. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. All those places. Oh, yeah, Breadwood. Didn't we need to go there? Let's do that. Oh, yes, trade. Trade, trade. Oh. Mmm. 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 Yes, safe. Safe crack. Fuck yeah. Oh, wait. Not that one. Ugh, finally. Thank God. Oh, wait. Dang, I keep clicking that one. White hair. Oh, minus three moxie. Lame. Safe cracking. Upgraded. Hell yeah. Is there anything else we want here? Nah. Oh, actually, binoculars. Those are handy. Alright. Hmm. Okay, wait, where are we going? Oh yeah, we're going up here. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing of nightmares. Maybe not your nightmare specifically, but definitely someone's. A human skeleton scuttling towards you, cracking with blue electricity and making a loud hissing noise that sounds like a cross between a nest of angry rattlesnakes and a broken radio. I want to fight it. 
I want to see. Oh, it's just a normal one. Okay. That's fine. I want to attack. Boop. 22 damage? Okay. What is that? <laughs> That's funny. Pew. And a pew. Nice. <laughs> a vibrating scapula. Scapula? Scapula? Okay. That's a good question. How old are they? Hmm. The buttery biscuit. We'll talk to the mayor last. Ah! Yes, a spittoon! This is a spittoon. And an unusually full one. Probably blessed to leave it alone. Take a closer look. Look, this isn't a mom and pop's family fun times saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. The people who drink in here are mainly drifters and desperados. Okay. Don't go splashing around in the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is vile behavior. I have my face right up to the thing. What's it look like? No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. I've got my hand right in there, splashing around. La 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 la, I'm not listening. You find nothing. You are the worst person in the world. Ha, I found something all right. Like a neurotic skin disorder, I bet. <laughs> Actually, it's a pair of boots. So these, oh wait, so they're Miss Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots full of bandit spit. I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. I got spit-soaked boots. You're just jealous of my sweet new boots. <laughs> okay. Well, well. Looks like some poor son of a biscuit walked into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez. Rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cousin here in Breadwood. Me. <laughs> sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread-related products. <laughs> so I've noticed. Okay, sure, we'll buy a drink. The bartender pours you a shot of something and slaps it on the bar in front of you. Don't I get to choose? No. Cool. Oh, partner? A uh, guy doing dishes? Uh, see bartender for darts? Uh, those fucking weirdos. These two waifus. Um, these two dudes. The man with the black hat has a huge pile of meat in front of him. The man with the white hat looks broken sad. What you playing, fellas? Pharaoh, but I wouldn't say we're playing. I'd say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. The man in the white hat grumbles. How does it work? It's easy. You bet 50 meat, and then you name as many pharaohs as you can... Each time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? If those are the rules, how did this guy lose all of his meat to you? He's real bad at it. Okay. I'll give it a try. Alright, partner. Start naming pharaohs. Okay. That one. That one. That one. That's all I got. Table's closed. Get lost. <laughs> Ha ha. Oh, the trading post. Trade with the post. Ooh, Beancraft! Yes, always buy Beancraft. Ooh, Forgin! Yes! Finally! Oh my god, I've been looking for that one. Okay. Yes. Yes, Forgin skill. Advanced bean craft. Okay, butter bean, a spell that reduces an opponent's muscle. Miss Gil out. Miss. Miss. Dil miss. I can't talk. <laughs> um, let's do this one. The other one. <laughs> it says I O U one piano. Okay. Alright, we've learned a lot from this place. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Um. Oh, wait. Damn, that's not one. This. Foraging. Aw, uh, 200? Okay. Can I get these? Dang it! Ah, oh, fine. Who are this? Who is the grave, though? Okay, fine. Okay, what's in the bunkhouse? The bunk beds. Ah, toilet. On one hand, it's a modern convenience. On the other hand, it's got zero privacy. Flush it just for fun. <laughs> Anything over here? Wash up, yes. Hello? Aww. I don't have lock picking. Um, this guy's just chilling by the fire. Howdy, stranger. I'm Hobart Buppert. You're what? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Jesse Mayfield. <laughs> The year what was just my genuine reaction, but it also happened to what she said next. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. You seem like the traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow a favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I've heard they've got one at the petting cemetery, but... The what? Petting cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. You want a loan? Nah, I got no prospects of paying it back. But I got a camera, and I figured if you went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. Great, thanks a bun thanks a bundle. An owl camera? He marks the location of the cemetery. Owl K, owl be back, owl. <laughs> What about this guy? He's very focused on his beard growing. <laughs> okay. Um, alright. I guess time to check out what's happening in the mayor's office here. <laughs> Problems. Breadwood post office. Public library. Soup kitchen. Yeast. Armorary. And the bank. Everything is empty. Cool. That's the problems. List of Breadwood's problems. Missing mail. The last batch of mail never made it here. Overdue book. One of the library's four books was checked out and never turned back in. Stalled lodging permit. Whole swaths of forest are still standing and we can't chop them down. Shoop, soup shortage. The town's soup kitchen doesn't have any soup in it. Skeletons everywhere. Skeletons keep wandering into town and poking people in the eye. <laughs> Missing yeast. The entire town- or the town's entire stock of yeast was stolen by the yeasty gang. Robbed bread bank. The town's bank was cleaned out by the baker boys. There's a note at the bottom. Note. The last time a mayor who let- wait, let this list get over three items. We chased him out of town with his breadstick nailed to the top of his head. Yikes. Hmm. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Jesse Mayfield, here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for the lumber. All right. I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Oh, uh, I sort of expected you would just bill us. You want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? I can probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal wouldn't be a real problem. 
and I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh? The mayor glanced at the list of problems posted on the wall and paces around nervously. Offered to help with his problems. Oh, thank you. I'd certainly welcome any assistance you can offer. Um, what should we help with? I guess we could do... Hmm. Hmm. I don't give a shit if you wouldn't want to date one, but if you tell other people not to date them also because of the fact that you personally wouldn't date him, I think you're a piece of shit and you deserve to stay single. <laughs> Cause like, that just sounds like you're bitter that other people are dating each other and you're not involved. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Stolen yeast or the missing bread? Yes, those are pretty decent. Because they got stolen by gangs. I say we do the yeast. The yeasty boys. Okay. Um, we take our yeast supply very seriously here in Breadwood. And that dang yeasty gang made off with the whole lot. A couple of fellas said they saw them loitering around the old brewery. So that's probably where they've made their hideout. We need that yeast back. <laughs> we'll do skeletons next. Um, the yeast. Ah, this one. Scout suddenly gets spooked by something off the tr side of the trail, and it's easy to understand why. There's a horse skeleton in the ditch, which is a thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse. Approaching the horse more closely, you see the tattered remains of a pair of Pony Express saddlebags on its skeletal flanks. The starboard bag is empty, but the port one contains a skeletal human hand with a ring on it. You conclude that either the horse's rider died with his hand in the saddlebag, or somebody is a really wait, or somebody is really sad that the skeleton hand they ordered never showed up, even though they paid extra to have it sent Pony Express. Either way, free ring. <laughs> Okay. Dude, I want donuts. Donuts sound so good. Oh, I can forage. Yay. Uh, I was not ready for this. Um, I don't think that's probably the case. Uh, being yourself, usually, around the right person, will only get you positive things. However, if you are being yourself around a person who does not vibe with that type of person that you are, then no, you're not going to have much success. You just have to, like, read the room. You feel me? But yeah, like I always say, if you're having trouble, like, finding stuff to talk about or relating to someone, see if you guys have any similar interests. That's a good thing to talk about. And then just talk about that. And if you guys have zero similar interests, you probably don't want to be with that person because you want a little bit of similarity. Otherwise, you're going to have nothing to talk about. yeast donut type of guy same i don't like cake donuts okay beer hose all right who the fuck is this guy oh he's too scared is he great yes 
Yeast covered hat. Tis mine now. Okay, let's do it. A yeast beast. Oh shit, my fork doesn't do anything. Mm, but heat does. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna up. Oh wait, fuck. That's not the one I meant to click. Well, I'm gonna do this then. Just, just stop you for a round, cause... That's not what I meant to fucking hit. I meant to click this one. The beans looked similar. God damn it. Okay. This is the one I wanted to hit him with. Fuck. Nice. Nice. Making progress. Oh, you don't do that much damage to me, do you? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got this. Mm. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it is hard to meet people right now, but like I was saying earlier, like, dating apps are a totally valid option. It's just about how you use it. You just need to be really upfront about what you want out of the relationship. You feel me? Yes, I could take some back to the mayor. Um, hi, dude. So this whole yeast theft biz doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Yeah, no, I... Oh, jeez. Are you a bounty hunter? Relax. The mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Phew. Okay, well, the yeast is in that revolting pile. So, what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread, is all. I know a bit about brewing, and we figured if we came back with a couple kegs, no one would mind so much that we stole the yeast. No offense, but it doesn't seem like you're much of a brewer. Hey, well, ideally you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my- okay, well, I guess it was my fault, but I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first because we were in a hurry. I think there was some frogs living in one of them. And you figured you could use the extra hops? Ha ha. Ha ha If you're sure you've got it figured out, you could set up shop in dirt water. Oh? Yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'd love to have my own place. Okay, I'll go check it out. Hell yeah. Ooh, three cans of beer. Mm, okay. Oh, sample. Oh, yikes. It's pure ethanol. Yikes. Okay. Now he's too grumpy to talk to you. He's just angrily muttering about yeast. Arrest him. You're under arrest. For what? Stealing about two handfuls of yeast? Yes. And the sentence for that is, what, about three days in jail? Um, and Breadwood does not actually have a jail? All right, I'll let you off the warning this time. <laughs> oh, and the dead guy. Now he's too grumpy to talk to you. Okay. Well, at least we got the yeast. <laughs> Yay. Okay, then we'll do the skeletons, and then we'll call it good for the day, because it's been a long stream already. Ooh. Okay, we'll check that out next time. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Happy to help. Okay. Let's, t let's do the skeleton raids. Okay, there's a military cemetery not far from here, and I figure something must have happened to the caretaker because military skeletons keep wandering out this way and causing a ruckus. Okay. The fucking horse. I swear to God. Ah, military cemetery. You happen across an unexpected crate. By unexpected, I'm referring to its location, not its condition, which is nailed shut. Yes, open. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. Burial plots, external flame. There's a shovel. 
And there's a caretaker's shanty. Investigate. You poke around in the shed. The caretaker appears to have been shirking his duties for quite a while, judging by the dust and cobwebs. Looks like the mayor was right about him having wandered off. Guess you're going to have to fetch him back here when and do his job. Okay, look at the tools. Well, tool singular. There's a shovel here. Since you already have a shovel, you leave it alone. It's not like you'd be able to dig twice as fast. Um, look under the chair. Puppy. Like all chairs owned by one guy, it has years worth of lint and food crumbs underneath it. Gross. <laughs> Scope out the desk. It's covered with old paint splattered newspapers and features a large collection of tiny jars of paint as well as a jar of fine-tipped brushes, a can of thinner, and a stack of history books. Curious. Check out the flyers tacked to the wall. You find a flyer for a military reenactment enthusiast society. Oh! Apparently they went to meet regularly at Fort Mamarium. Maybe that's where it is. Okay. Cool. So he's over there. What's this? Ah, a goblin. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. No, is fire is good fire? Not too wasting it. Do we fight you? I will fight you. Sure. A goblin chief. Haha. Put my armor here. Pew. Oh, 28 damage. Nice. Oh, shit! Ah! Ah! Okay, whew. Thankfully, I've got more. Whew, that was... That was scary. Okay. Now what? <laughs> now nothing, I guess. Okay. Goodbye, sir. And your flame. <clears throat> Burial plots. Is it a plot? Hehehe. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> plot 420 is completely overgrown with mushrooms. You root around in the loose shrooms and find a book. Coincidentally, it's a book about mushrooms. Cool. Okay, let me try. Nice! Next to that tombstone, you find a pedestal with a leather-bound book on top of it. Looks evil. You better grab it before somebody else does. Someone else give me a fucking grave to go check out. Give me a number. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, Bobby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bobbles. Let's see 101. Okay. You put an ear to the ground. It's quiet. The soldier buried here apparently hasn't been reanimated yet. Dig it up. Nice. The ground here is rocky, and it's pretty hard on your shovel. You make it down to the coffin and find not much to write home about. But barrel whiskey and a gold skull. Nice. I can't... Oh, 069? Okay. Nice. You put an ear to the ground. It's quiet, and they haven't been reanimated. Oh, a silver bullet, chemical bullet, and military grade whiskey. Nice. 369? What about 360? Because that's like, you know. Oh, yes, a fight! Finally! Mm. Alright, let's do this. We'll just, we'll just take them straight on. Ooh. Does decent damage, but <laughs> got him. 
Okay, which other one? Um, one, two, three. Smart. Okay. One, two, three. Another fight! <laughs> oh shit, they... That is, um, wow. Wow, that was rude. <laughs> Oops. Fuck. Well, at least I have HP. Hmm. Hmm. Do one of those. And then we'll do that because I need to upgrade that one. Oh, we should do foraging. Yes. Ha ha ha. Oh, how much to upgrade that one? 400? Okay, good to know. Oh, that's not what I meant. Okay, let's open these books, though. We got the books. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't even have a chance to fight that guy. Ooh, vampiric yodel. Yes. Are you certain? The dark arts are no laughing matter. This could really mess you up. Yes, I said read it. As you read the words in the book, a voice that is not your own howls along with them in your head. As you get nearer to the end of the book, the howls become more and more melodic. Vampiric yodel. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. You don't feel well. Ugh. Oh shit, I'm emancipated too? Oh shit. Okay. This teaches me about mushrooms. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, 11. Okay. We'll go. We'll go to these. Okay, so 11. Aw. This tombstone seems more ornate than most. Although, wait, though it's particularly worn away, there is an epi... 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 epi I don't know, whatever those things are fucking called. Inscribed as well. Died of a broken heart. Aw. Say a word for the departed. What should we say? What do we say to the departed? Oh shit. Hi. You are a cute baby. I love you. Love you, Guys, what do I say? What do I say to the departed? R.I.P. homie? <laughs> Sorrow? Is that what I'm supposed to say? Ah, sorrow. Okay, I'll do that. Get wrecked, lol. <laughs> Sorrow. Okay. After a moment, you notice that you can just barely make out the division number that had been worn away. Ah! Over the years, 37. <laughs> okay, so then I have to visit 37, I guess? soul okay as you approach the grave it reads uh blah 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 this tombstone seems more neat than most those particular one away and it says believed these numbers held the secret to immortality huh interesting okay so I'm guessing I have to say another word, another word for the departed. Eight twenty one two eighteen nine nineteen. What are those? We should keep track of those numbers. Someone keep track of that. 
everyone cries after Iron Giant. If you didn't cry, you're not human, honestly. Okay, what do I say now? Is it the same? Hubris? Okay. Okay. Hubris. Um, you say a brief word for the departed. After a moment, you notice that you can just barely make out the division number that had worn away over the years. One, one, one. Oh, that's the one we went to. Lol. Okay. Say a word for the departed. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, it's one of those things. He died penniless and alone. Okay, born in distant lands, died penniless and alone. E H V R. V A R Q. What is it? I'm tired. Let me see. Rav. I'm good at these if I have a piece of paper to like write them down on, but not if I don't. Ruined. It's ruined. You have to switch them twelve. All right, I'll trust you on that. Oh wait. Okay, ruined. Ruined. All right, here we go. After a moment, you can notice the year 230. Okay. 230. Butanium. Shit, what's this one? What's what the puppy's doing right now? They're like making out. Uh, what do you think that they're little dying bops? Little pops. Bro, this is hard. I'm glad you have the wiki open because I would be struggling right now without your help. Because these would take me forever. I, need to, I would need to go get a piece of paper. Uh. Oh. So cute. 
wedged? Okay. <laughs> hey, well, at least you helped. Okay, wedged. Oh, shit. Wedge without the D? Fuck. Which is it? <laughs> Help. Oh, okay. E. I don't even know what the fuck that word is. E. E. Num. Ianim. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, 370. <laughs> okay, three, oh. 70. Oh, come on. Mm -mm. This tombstone seems ornate than most. Crushed at bash for boulder salesman. <laughs> Is this one wedged? Which is this one? <laughs> Name well suited to the person, place, or thing. Huh. Weird. That's interesting. So I was crunching my giant Rice Krispie treat, which I feel like I should open right now. I'm gonna start a munch. This is not for you. No, this is not. Do you guys see this? Score one for the dictionary. Oop. Oh, this one's wedged. Okay. I'm gonna just bite it. Haha. <laughs> Um. Hello. Okay, wedged. Okay, six ninety. Nice. Colored her hair six times a day. Bitch, you just wouldn't have hair. Okay, what's this one? <laughs> yes, it is a onesie. It's super cozy. That's so funny. My pups are audacious. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're still going. Not for much longer. This is the last thing we're doing. Well, not this, but we have to go we have to go hunt down the dude and then that's the last thing we're doing. And then I'm getting off. So I have to go get dinner and then go to sleep and go back to my vacation. <laughs> so, for the rest of the week, um I'm going to work on cleaning stuff and then I'm going to start working on uh getting all my orders sorted and then i'm gonna make the new back to fudge probably this weekend i'm also streaming this weekend i might stream other days too if i get bored i don't know probably shorter streams than this one like an hour or two <laughs> but yeah okay what's this one dying ah ha 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 ah ha 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 a dying <laughs> that's funny
11. Ah. Wait. So do we go back? Do we go back to 11? Is this the last one? You notice that someone left a rock on this grave inscribed with LOL, which everyone knows stands for lots of love. <laughs> How sweet! <laughs> Though you're not sure why they placed it upside down. Wait. Do we say another word for the departed? Bro. I don't think we have nearly as many orders this time around because I didn't promote it <laughs> on purpose. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, me. I said overly sensitive people are bad. Like, people get triggered over nothing these days. We have to visit a new plot because the rock's there. Oh, 707. Okay. 7. Oh, 7. Got it. Okay. Say a word for the departed. Okay, what do I say to this one? LOL. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, do I have to type LOL? That's really funny if I have to type LOL. Oh. Okay. Ha ha! A courier walks up to you. According to General Heimer's will, I am supposed to deliver this to a person standing at his grave at this exact moment. He hands you a package and then departs. You open the box and inside is a bunch of meat. At the bottom of this package, it is a note that says, You've not heard the last from me. Ominous. I wonder what that could mean. Cool. Nice. Okay. Cool. I feel like that's all the graves we need to go. So let's go to the fort. Fort Memorium. Yes, that one. We must fight it. Got him. Yes, Susie becomes stronger. And we got an infernal soul fragment. Hell yeah. Eh. Okay, so which one of you? They're supposed to be working. Are you the cemetery caretaker? Haha. -ha. Okay. Um, yeah, that's me. Did one of the other guys tell you? I want, or I try to keep it hushed because people assume you're a weirdo if you work in the graveyard. I'm actually here to tell you to go back to work because skeletons are wandering out of the place and causing trouble for the neighbors. Ah, uh, nuts. Well, alright. Wait. 
All right, well, look, I'm on a real winning streak here. I'll go back once it's over, okay? Okay, let's see if we can upgrade our outboxing skill. Dang it, it's 300. Fuck. All right, well, looks like we might need to save that for another time. Let's see. Ooh, we got another. We got another place. Okay. Let's save that for next time, because we, oh, we have a lot. We have done a lot today, and it is 6.30. <laughs> uh, mm. I know, I keep forgetting to post updates to the Rice Krispie Treat on TikTok. This is the third Rice Krispie Treat. Um, it's because Christmas happened and I was shipping stuff and it was very busy and I happened to eat it during that time period, so I forgot. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm still banned from live streaming on TikTok. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I'm so shadow banned on there, it's sad. Oh well. Um... Okay. Is there anything here we could do? Ooh, yes. Examine. Mm, leave it for now. Hi, puppy. Hello. Mm. Aw, thank you. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the main menu, I think. Wait, just okay. This way. Main menu. Hell yeah. Tiny bubbles. Scoot my chair back. Oh, excuse me, bubbles. Must get room to stretch. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Ah. But yeah, so tomorrow I am cleaning this room and um, let's see what else. I'm cleaning this room. I'm doing laundry. Friday, I'm probably um, going to work or start working on shipping a few things out that I need to get shipped out that isn't fudge related. <laughs> um, and then Saturday I will be doing a stream with Katie. And then, um, eh. um, let's see, Sunday I'm taking a day off again and slash working on my VTuber probably and slash, uh, making fudge continued from the day before because on Saturday I'm also probably going to start making fudge after I stream with Katie um and then next week I'm going to start well I'm going to keep just working on doing the fudge stuff getting all of my orders sent out everything done so I don't have anything pending anymore um and then what else um, then after that, as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to work on, ooh, work on my VTuber more. I've made a lot of progress, um, but there's a lot more to do. Hello. I wanna make a higher def- Soul, can you not be her in the fucking way? Um, ugh. Aw, thank you, Sammy. I hope you can catch it. Um, I will give the pops a snacky. Oh, a snacky! Oh, puppy snacky! Come, puppy snacky! Come here! Good job, buddy. <laughs> Good job, pops! Good job, pops! Um, yeah. So... 
lots of things i'm gonna be streaming on here next wednesday also might stream at other points in the day or the week when i want to take a break from shipping stuff <laughs> and i want to play a game or two with you guys maybe we can tr do like a few shorter streams just testing out some of the other new games i've downloaded um i should soul right now i should have a new sd or whatever card for my fucking switch soon so that i can actually download all those games i got so yes should be lots of fun i'm excited and yeah we're just gonna keep finding more fun and new things to do and we will we will get better we will do better we will find more ways to make it um interactive too that's that's my goal you know <laughs> yes um okay i can't think of anything else thank you guys uh thank you maria for this awesome blanket fort today this was fun again i'm enjoying doing the blanket forts um thank you to everyone else who left me a tip i very much appreciate it and yeah i guess i will see you guys saturday it will be an earlier stream um it will be not as early as last time though because that was painfully early um i might get on earlier if i wake up early um but yeah i fixed it so now you guys are not gonna accidentally hear katie's audio this time <laughs> Oh, that's so funny that that happened last time. But anyway, um, yeah. Oh, it's going dark. Um, yeah, so Saturday we'll be doing Animal Crossing again, I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't fully planned it out with her yet, so I will update you guys if that's not what we're doing. But yeah, also I will maybe we'll think of a tip menu or something i don't know i need to i need to talk with her about that but for now we're not going to have one i think just for now um mom, 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 mom. you liked hearing her audio <laughs> i'm sure you did uh that was funny yeah she was nervous <laughs> Zoli, you are just so needy right now. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for keeping me company for so long. Seriously, to those of you who stayed the whole time, like, thank you for keeping me company. <laughs> it was a long stream. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I'm glad you guys enjoy Portia as much as I do. I made a lot of progress in it. Um, we're not going to play as much of it next time, probably. <laughs> Um, I think it'll be a game that I keep just, like, playing off stream and then we'll play some on stream. Unlike Animal Crossing where I'm strictly playing it on stream for the most part. And then just doing, like, a few behind the scene things on stream. So it'll be, like, yeah. So I'll just save, like, dungeons and stuff for you guys on Portia. Because I feel like that's the fun part. <laughs> so. Yes. Um. Okay. That's all. That's all I have to say. Okay. Yay! Um, I've got a YouTube video that I need to edit together. Um, so that might happen at some point uh, this week, maybe. Um, if not this week, definitely next week. And then I also have a bonus orange YouTube video that I wasn't planning to film, but I ended up filming anyway, so that'll be up around the same time I end up getting the YouTube video. So, yay. Uh, what? What are you talking about, Cole? Don't hate yourself. That, that is not going to help you at all. It gets you nowhere. Don't hate yourself. This is my homework to you guys, okay? Before I get off. My homework to you guys. Go stand in the mirror and say, the indie says, I don't suck 
and I'm not horrible. And just say that a few times, like five times, and then do it again tomorrow. That's your homework. And just keep doing that. Okay? Everyone sensitive. It's fine. Don't let it control you, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> find a way to channel that into something that doesn't overrun your life so much. Okay? So, there's your homework. Give yourself a little self-confidence boost. Okay? Yes, exactly like Bloody Mary. I will appear behind you and say poggers, okay? <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, thank you guys for the stream. This was fun. Um, I'll see you guys Saturday. Yeah, because I will definitely be AFK today. Maybe Friday, less Friday. Definitely tomorrow, because um, tomorrow... I will be cleaning and doing laundry all day. So hopefully I will be AFK so I actually fucking do it and don't get distracted on Twitter all day. <laughs> okay. Mwah. Have a good night, you guys. I'm going to go get myself some dinner because it's late. Oh my gosh, I spent the whole day streaming. Ah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, la, 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 la. See you. Saturday.